Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? No. Yeah, you're a little low. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Welcome to the Jow softball game. Uh, Jow is playing Hobbs JV. Number 11, Ornelas, is coming up to bat. She's a righty. One out. With one out. And, and that was Zambrano. Right now we have Jonna Butts pitching for the Jow Panthers and Alexis Talavera for the catcher. First pitch, and it's going to be one to zero. Ball. One ball, no strikes. There goes the second pitch. The call is going to be 2 0. -oh. That one was a really close pitch. Kind of looked like a strike. Uh, I'm Natalie Navarrete. And I'm Valeria Costa. And with us, we got Dusty Wyndham. And there it goes, heading off to center field. And as I'll sneak in here, that was a single right up the middle of that time for Ornelas. Coming up next will be Rangel. And she wears number 15 and plays over at... Oh, we didn't get that far, did we? No. <laughs> Sorry. So, Rangel is actually playing in left field. Ornelas is first base. And Zambrano is center field. So the first pitch on its way here for the Panthers. And who is on the mound for the Panthers? Who's pitching? Uh, Jonna Butts. Very good. We saw her a week ago or so against Portales' uh, C team, and she dominated in those games. Of course, the Panthers dominated in those games against Portales, and it's a 1-1 count after the strike thrown there. I'm going to turn it back over to Valeria and Natalie. Here goes third pitch. And it's good. It went off to right field. To Ale. Oh, no. To Yami Luhan. Right now we have two runners. One on first base and one on second base. So, Natalie, how's your day been? It's been good. That's good. Now I'm just happy here to watch the softball game. First pitch. It's going to be a strike. So the call is 0 1. Do you think we're going to. How do you think we're going to do today? Well, they have played Hobbs before, and they did really good, I think, on both of those games. I agree, I agree. I agree. Right Second now. pitch was a ball, so the call will be 1-1. One, one. In number 14, she hit the ball to center field, and Sorry. the second base stole to third. So now it's a full house. And the pitcher is... M Marina Venezuela. Venezuela. And right now we have number eight, which is Ruby Garcia, and she plays shortstop. Right now she has no, she's zero to one, and now it's zero to two, two strikes. I think the, I think this game, I think this game is going to be interesting. What do you guess we'll see if see if all these runners get to home. I guess we will. Oh. And now it's one to two, one ball, two strikes. Uh -oh. There goes the pitch. Yes, 
to hit the ball to second base. And our and the catcher for Jao, Alexa Talavera, misses the catch and is not able to tag the runner. So that will leave us with the one out. Oh. Yeah. I apologize. They did get her out. Right now we have runners on second base and third base. And number seven's up to bat. It's um, Maya Rodriguez. Hopefully we didn't you know, say that wrong. Butcher her name. Yes, hopefully not. There goes the pitch. And a strike. Now it's one on one, one ball, one strike. With the score being zero to two as Hobbs take the lead. There goes the pitch. And it is too high. So that will leave us with the call of two and one. There's the sec th there's the third pitch. And that will leave us two to two. Two balls and two strikes. You know what I always find interesting about softball games what or baseball? That? Ooh. Ooh, and that goes to right field to Yami Luhan with a miss. And third base is going home. Second base is going home. And first base is gonna take it home. And that leaves us to five to zero. <laughs> And Hobbs is taking the lead in the first inning. And we're still with one out. Sorry, now we're just cleaning the camera. Right now we have 23 on the plate, Carissa. She plays second base. First pitch was a strike. We can hear a lot of commotion coming from the Hobbs dugout. Yeah, and that's what I find really interesting is I love the way they do like their chants. I find them so interesting. There goes, and, and it is high and, and caught. Pi pitcher catches it and 23 is out leaving us with two outs with a score of zero to five. Coming up to bat is number five. Um, number five is gonna be Andy Arnold, the catcher. First pitch was a strike. And here goes second pitch, and it is good. It goes to second base, but she misses it, and she takes first base. Recovered by Charisma Rodriguez, number nine, but too late. And now, and now Hobbs has a runner on first base. Is subbed out by number 17. Which we don't have. Right now, number one is up to bat, and that's gonna be Kaylee Peterson, and she plays right field. Um, she doesn't seem to be on the roster. Oh, 17. First pitch for number one. And that is a strike. And that was Melinda's for 17. <coughs> oh. 
Second pitch is a strike. So the call will be 0-2. So far, Ja has two outs in the first inning. And that was too low. So that will be a ball. So the call will be 1-2. So far, I think, I think John is doing really good. Yeah, yeah, usually she's a really strong pitcher. She really is. Every once in a while, she'll have some, some high ones, some low ones. And that will make it three outs. So that will, that will end the top of the first. And we'll be right back. We're excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. Mamacitas in Jow has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jow, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jow, is a proud supporter of the Jow community. You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star Energy Efficient LED bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. And I'll, all right, we are back here in Jow. Five nothing lead for the visiting Hobbs Eagles, as they uh, well they tattooed the ball there in the top half of the first, and now the Panthers will have to scramble and try to get a few runs back. Let me turn myself down a little bit more. That's not me. This is me. All right, you guys are going to be up here, and there we go. Bring that down just a little. So we hope. Our levels are there. Let me jump into the jail roster. I've got to send copies of these. Anyways, to the young ladies who took the top half of this first inning for us, and Valeria and Natalie. And uh, first time ever that they had to start off a show. So, you know, uh, a little nervous, but they, uh, I think they did just fine here. No, you okay, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> so now we're switching seats here as I'll get a second to sit down. And we'll get going. First batter for Jow. Does anybody know who it is? It is Anna Ross. That is correct. Very good job. See, pop quiz, and she passed it. <laughs> so far, the call will be 1-2. And that will make Jow's first out. Strike out there for the Panthers. And now coming to the plate will be Butts. Number 11, and she is a lefty. First pitch will be a ball, so 1-0. Oh. That was a little, it was a really low ball. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> good good observation there from <laughs> these young ladies here who uh, are actually taking on a big responsibility in doing these games for you folks, so please – uh, if you see them out and about, thank them for this because uh, they're going to be pros at it here in just a week or so. I think, anyways. I'll be gone <laughs> Saturday back in Hobbs doing junior college ball. And uh, they're going to be taking over the entire broadcast. I've got 30 years' experience. They have two games. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> no, they are going to get there. I just sent you both the roster for the Panthers here. Okay. So now, two balls, two strikes with one away here in the bottom half of the first inning. Let me get back into my score bot as well so I can keep you guys on uh, par with what we're doing here. Swing and a miss, and that's going to be another strikeout. That's second out 
both coming via the strikeout here for the pitcher from Hobbs, who is, is that, uh, so let's see. Amaya Rodriguez. There you go. Good job. And that was a one zero one ball, zero strikes from Alexis Talavera. So Talavera will step in, trying to uh, get a rally going here in the bottom half of the first. Jow trails 5-0. That was a close pitch. Called a ball. It's 2-0 quickly. So a head and count is Talavera here. And we will see how this pitch comes. Ooh. Ball hit hard right up the middle. It's going to two-hop the center fielder. And on with a two-out single is going to be Talavera. So who's up next, ladies? That's going to be Maddie Inglet, and she is number 14. There you go. See? Already, they're doing great. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. They're both shaking, <laughs> though. No, I'm kidding. No, no, we are. We are. Yeah. So well, we will have a different runner on here. As it looks like maybe number five twisting an ankle there. Yeah. As she's limping off the field. Oh, yeah. Hopefully she's all right. The base runner is going to be Alani Mendez. Very good. So we'll take a moment as the umpire will have to write down the substitution in his little book. Two-man umpire and crew here today on the blue turf. I'm still digging the blue turf down here. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it too. It I think brings the baseline out. should be gold though, right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. no, <laughs> oh, oh, and there was a foul. Right back at the dugout of the Panthers, trying to hit her own teammates. Look at that. Oh, never mind. Oh. That was a strike. Yeah, well, so a foul is a strike unless oh. it's on the third strike, and then a foul keeps you alive. It stays at two strikes. Oh, okay. See, we're learning. That's a strike. <laughs> Definitely, she offered it. That yeah. one went across. It's 0-2. And I thought perhaps maybe the runner would go here, but she did not. Staying at first base. And here comes the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Drop third strike. They'll have to tag her. They do. And after one inning of play here, it is now a 5-0 game. The Eagles in the lead, and they're coming back up to bat. We'll see if Butts can shut down the lineup when we come back. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. The staff of the Jowl Public School District is proud of their Jowl Panthers. Those late practices, hard work, and dedication paid off. Go Panthers! Jowl Schools have continually provided a quality education and safe environment for the students. Jowl Public School System is on the move. Are you ready? Jowl Public Schools, another proud sponsor of all Lee County athletics and academics. All right, we are back once again. I'm Dusty Windham. Alongside me running the camera is Valeria Acosta and then Natalie Navarrete uh, providing color commentary as well. <laughs> So, At least uh, trying. Yeah, Hobbs had a really good first inning there. Uh, three yeah. strikeouts yeah. right for the pitcher, uh, Rodriguez. And now coming to the plate is going to be number two, and number two is Rodriguez. So, the, oh, no. Mariah Zim Oh, they Zimbaro? did that all the way around, mm -hmm. didn't they? See, I was running and trying to wipe off the camera yeah. instead of watching the top <laughs> half of the first. So don't listen to me, folks. Do not listen to me. We are all with HobbsAmerica.com and happy to have you with us. Tough kid, Talavera is going to stay in the game with that limp uh, defensively anyways and uh, uh, had a little trouble crouching there it looked like. Yeah, it looked like she was holding on to her leg there. So we'll see if Butts can return the favor and KFU here. First pitch was a ball. Maybe the mask was giving her a little bit of trouble and she uh, removed it. Sees a little bit better here. So one zero count as I get back into the score box yet again. Ooh. Somehow, 
And Second pitch was. It's going to be a ball as a well. A ball. He got really, really close to yeah. two. Number two. So we got a 2 0 count. It's two balls, no strikes. And the batter ahead in the count here. Looking for something to drive, but needs to throw a strike, and the batter is ready for that. And as you see, that one's fouled back, and having to go back with a 2 1 count will be Zambrano. Which is two to one, two balls and one strike. Yep. Nice. So on deck will be number 11, and that is Ornelas. And then who do we have after that? Rangel. So uh, batter at bat, in, on deck, and then in the hole is how we do that. And a swing and a – was that a swing and a miss? I thought she swung. I thought she, she tried to bunt. Oh, she must have pulled it back just in time then. It, it's probably a ball called. As, uh, you know, we have all the help in the world up here with Hannah. So – and that would left us with the fourth ball, and she is heading to first. Correct. That is a walk issued or a base on balls. And we'll head to the next batter. Hobbs already. Nobody out. One on here at first base as it is Ornella stepping up from the right side of the plate. Even though she's on the left side, she swings <laughs> right-handed, so that's the right side. There you go. First pitch will be a ball as – Number two yep. steals second base. So Zambrano got a good jump, and that ball was uh, uh, bounced in front of the plate just off the mitt of Talavera, who is obviously in some pain there behind the dish. And the throw still really close to uh, catching the runner, but bobbled a bit, maybe a bit behind her. Same pitch, it seems like, and the runner thought about it. Now we'll dance back over towards second. So... Got a runner on second with a 1-1 count. And nobody out here in the top half of the second inning. The Eagles already with a five-run lead over your Panthers. Butts will come to the plate here. Ooh. This ball's hit high and shallow. And she made caught out it. Left field. That was a good play made out. And that keeps the runner at second base as well. And it'll bring up Sol Rangel. Again, Hobbs scored five in that first inning and batted all the way around to take this lead. But already one out here, but delivers just outside for a ball that time. So that uh, leaves us with a 1-0 and o count, one ball and no strikes. You know, the way she's grabbing, like near the back of the thigh, it makes you think a hamstring maybe is uh, the issue. Yeah, I think it like maybe cramped or something. Very well could be. You can see her kind of trying to stay on her toes just a little bit. On the 1-0, the runner will go, but falls asleep on the mound after getting the throw back from Talavera. And that means that Zambrano will take third as well. So now a runner at third base and a 2-0 count here as Rangel will step back in. Coach McCoy sending runners left and right, it looks like here. Going to really test Talavera with the injury. And that was a strike because she fouled the ball. Very good. Fouled down the right side, the first baseline. And it will be a 2-2 count here now to ring up. So the Panthers are a strike away from retiring the batter for the second out and hopefully keeping the runner at third already trailing five nothing here in the second this is the first of two games here today it is a double header and this ball is hit back at the pitcher but gets Ooh, it and, and she it. misses yeah threw it over the head of the first and now baseman. 15's heading to second base and probably the third the gets all the way around you're right and now, is she gonna take it home she may she, she did. did huge error there so uh, not a hit. That'll be an error charge to butt on the play and make it a 7 nothing game as two runs come in there. And Hobbs jumping all over Jow early on here. New batter is number 14, and that is Venezuela or Valenzuela. Excuse me. Yes. 
Marina. Venezuela. Venezuela. She's not a whole country. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh, we're going right next to the pitcher. It hits center field, and 14 makes it to first base safely. So Valenzuela gets to first. And who's the next batter there, Natalie? Um, Ruby Garcia. So Garcia will step in. Ready to swing. A lot of right-handed bats in this Hobbs Eagle lineup. They're up 7 nothing already with a runner on first. And just one out here. Good pitch that time. Just off the plate, though, for a ball called behind it. Home plate by the umpire. And Valeria, let me know if the sun gets too much on the camera there. I, I think it's got a pretty good view right now. Yeah, I think it's really good right now. But if there's too much of a glare, let me know. Okay. We'll see if we can fix it. Ball hit over to third. Could be a... Second well, out. It is the second out. I thought they might try to turn two as that one was on the infield. Uh, try for the double play, but the throw went straight to first base. So the runner will advance to second on the play. But now with two outs, we'll have another batter. And, and that will be Amaya Rodriguez. There you go. See, I told you they were good. Y'all just didn't know <laughs> it. So Butts will deal here in a 7 nothing contest. Ooh. This one's going to go foul. Can the play be made on that side? Give the camera two. For as far as you can see now, that one was really down the line and uh, it was hard to see from the dugout area. As angles are everything here. But it's an 0-1 count here. Jow could retire this batter. They can get out of the inning without allowing any more damage. Already trailing 7-0. This one right up the middle. Shortstop with a big play. And she's safe. She's safe. Beats the throw there. But that was a really good range to get over there just to get to the ball for the Panther shortstop. And 14 advanced to third base. I believe that's 14. Yep. So you got runners on the corners with two out. A good ground ball here could put uh, anybody, basically, um, out at first or second. Just got to tag the bag. If you try to come home, you're going to have to tag the runner. But it's a 7 nothing game. And again, Hobbs leading here. And this is the uh, Hobbs JV, of course, as they're a 5A school. And Jow playing in the 2A classification. And Jow could still make some noise with the win here. And it looks like they put in a base runner, number three, which is going to be Philbert. Or, yeah, Philbert. Very good. You know what I forgot to get? What? Sunglasses? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we were talking about Lighter it last right game. Over there, and I'm sitting in the middle of YouTube. And I'll get it. I need one of those, like, poncho hats, you know? You know what? That would work. What? Yeah. Just Either put the headset over. Get one, like, uh smalls on the sand line. It just has a really long bill on it. Did you, know? you ever go home and watch oh, it? Oh, I never went home to go watch it, okay? You failed the required I'm viewing. sorry. This, this is terrible. <laughs> I'll watch it tonight, I swear. I swear. So the first pitch to the batter is a called ball here. And it's a 1-0 count with two outs and runners on the corners. Hobbs already up seven. We're in the top half of the second. And Butts trying to get the Panthers out of the inning. This one will go low and outside. Runner will take second base. No throw as they throw the second. Would have allowed the runner from third to score. Most likely. Can't predict it all, you know. <laughs> and you know how we were talking about how, like, baseball is, like, a very slow, you know, game? Yeah. yeah. Now I understand, like, why they say, like, softball is really fast. I feel like everything's just going, like, the yeah. pace is a little bit quicker, it, yeah. it, or it can be anyhow. Yeah, of course, you'll see softball games where pitchers take their time to throw the pitch and slow the game down a little bit. But uh, so far, both teams are working pretty quickly. we got a 2-1 count. And 23 here. is on the plate right now. Carissa. And the last name? Let's see. 23. Do you have a 23? Yeah, Sigala. And the call will be two and two. Yeah, two balls, two strikes, a strike away from getting out of the inning here. And Butts will miss outside. We got a 3-2 count. That's a full count. And this is what we call the payoff pitch. And we can hear Hobbs chanting. Seems like the uh, team unity pretty good over there in the dugout. 
Oh. And that one's fouled back, so this one not a strike. It'll stay at two strikes here. But a uh, pretty good cut. That was a healthy cut on the ball that time. That went out of the field. Now, Hannah, could you could you uh, could you hit a ball out of the park? She's Very like me. me. <laughs> we hate to see oh. that she's not playing. This ball Ooh, poked up the middle and into the center field. Fourteen makes it in. home, Ooh. and is number three going to make it? And she does. So two runs will come in here. It is now nine nothing. Hobbs, the batter, gets all the way to second base on the throw. And, uh, you know, there was some hesitation on the second run coming across. As she rounded third, she kind of stopped in between and then took off, uh, thinking that the throw was going to be cut off. And she could have been meat at the plate this time, though. It wasn't. And now we will have Arnold up. This ball is hit right up the gut. Now another good play made it short. And safe. And the throw just not in time. But the, the glove is there. Just got to... Get the throw over now. We all have bases or runners at first and third, which is on the corners. And another hitter, which is the nine-hole hitter, uh, Kaylee Peterson? Patterson? Yeah, Kaylee Peterson. Peterson. There you go. I'm looking at their well, roster. she does a little move. There. Yeah, my handwriting's really bad, so. Uh, no, you, <laughs> you have not tried to read mine. There are doctors that go, man, I can't read that crap. Or that <laughs> roster. So, yeah, it oh. was a little tough. Ooh, and then number 23 is going to make it home. On a still attempt to second, uh, the throw gets into center field. So the runner from third will score. And all the way to third is the runner that was at first base. And now we have a 0 1 count with two outs. And it is a 10 nothing contest here in Jowl with the Eagles up in the top half of the second. Hard to give up 10 runs in two innings, but. Somehow, that has happened here. The Panthers are going to have to hit the ball. That's what it's going to come down to. 0-2 oh, after that foul ball down the right side. But you can never lose hope, right? As long as there's an out left to play with, you have a chance. Right now, it looks slim, though. 10 nothing hops. And, you know, the, the Panthers did get the one hit in the bottom half of the first, but three strikeouts by the Hops pitcher Rodriguez into the inning. Uh, cut, and that one is fouled back, and it'll remain 0-2 here with two down. So far, Hops hitting the ball really well. They're running the bases at will, and uh, the pitcher, for what we've seen so far, has really shut down the Panther lineup. We'll see what happens, of course, when we get to the bottom half of this second inning, but a 10-0 lead for the Eagles at the moment. This ball is hit up the first baseline. The play made over there, and that'll end the inning. So five more come across the plate here in the top of the second, and it's a 10-0 lead for Hobbs with the Panthers coming up to try to cut into that lead when we come back on HobbsAmerica.com. Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jow Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Mamacitas and Jow has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jow, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jow, is a proud supporter of the Jow community. And we are back. Right now, they seem to be having a discussion, the Jow Panthers, with their coach, because they are 0 to 10 in the second inning. In the top half of the second inning, the Hobbs, they scored five more runs. Yeah. I, I guess, I don't know if our like Panthers are not in it right now. But hopefully in this inning they, you know, 
score. Yes, let's hope. As I think it's really just, you know, they're batting. Yeah. There's some, like, simple mistakes that can be, like, you know, fixed, but. Because Hobbs hasn't shown us any defense, at least. We can't blame it on that one yet. Yeah. Yeah. And coming up to bat. Is Ale. Alejandra Mendoza. Mm -hmm. First pitch would be a ball. So the call will be 1-0. I feel like the sun is so bright today. Like, it's like. I'm lucky I'm in the tinted window. <sighs> Don't even. Right now with the second pitch, it is a one ball and one strike. I think. They just need to get a hit, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, and, and there it hit. is. Ooh, and that oh, was and a caught. catch. She hit the ball to right field, but it was uh, a pretty high ball, so they caught that one. The ball was caught by Katie Peterson at right field. And coming up to bat will be Mighty Niet Niet Nieto. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> that was... That was my bean. Mm hmm First first pitch will be a ball. So the call will be one oh. Waiting for the second pitch, and there it goes. And it looked like she striked. She striked and so, I don't know, it kinda looked like it was looked like a practice hit. Yeah, it looks like a little bit. Yeah, maybe just like a little bit. Just just a little bit. And third pitch will be ooh. Another strike because she fouled the ball. So the call will be one to two with one ball and two strikes. I think the Panthers really need to get on the board as the score is 10 to nothing. The fourth pitch will be a ball, so the call will be 2 2. Hopefully. She can try to hit this one or make a hit out of this one. And oh, hit and her. she. <laughs> That's a hit, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess it was a hit. So she will be advancing to first base. Right in the ankle, as a matter of fact, where <laughs> that hit. Took that looked like it hurt. Oh, I'm sure it did. Yeah. Coming up to bat will be Amila Melanson. See, I got that name right this week. <laughs> <laughs> Look like the... Swing and a miss there for a strike, and they threw down on an attempted still in safely as the base runner for the Panthers, so they have a runner in scoring position here. The first pitch was a strike, and our second... Ooh, Ooh. and that one hit her, too, right in the knee, kind of on the shin, and she is walking to first... Thank you, Trying baby. to walk off that pain. I tell you what, that was a pretty good knock right there. Second hit batter of the inning and out to talk is Coach McCoy with his pitcher here. That actually sounded like it hurt. Did yeah, you yeah. hear that? Like it, if, if you can hear it like that, you know it's solid, right? Yeah. So what we may do next week is change our location. We may go right behind home plate there and uh, keep a little more shade like we do at the baseball field. Um Sure, we'll miss the air conditioning, but you know, it's other okay, than that, it's okay. It's okay. We'll survive. So right now, there is one away, bottom half of the second inning here for the Panthers, and the Eagles up ten nothing. But the Panthers with two runners on base and just that one out, and uh, staying in the game to pitch will be Rodriguez. It is still Rodriguez, yeah. Yes. And who's coming to the plate for the Panthers here? Charisma Rodriguez will be batting up. You know what? I, I don't remember her from the Portales game. I don't remember her playing. But did she play basketball? Didn't she? Uh, yes. yes. I thought so. I, I knew I knew the name. First, First pitch is a strike here. You know what? I'm going to shut up and let y'all do your thing. <laughs> y'all are actually doing very well. These these two uh, new to the broadcasting business. Second pitch just off the plate. Had to been still Ooh. a third base there. Yeah, the oh, and then she's going to get, she's going to make it. And, and she, she made, made it. it. The catcher <laughs> dropped that ball. So now a 10 to 1 ball game. That's that's great. 
The that, Panthers have dug into the lead, albeit slightly. It is a 10 to 1 game here. And uh, don't know why the runner from first didn't advance on the throw or anything there. Uh, maybe be more aware. Maybe they were scared of the arm out in left field. Either way, now, after that pitch, it is a 1 2 count. Let me clear that out. Fourth pitch will be, oh, a foul. And that's going to remain a foul. <laughs> they have one and two to count. Yeah. Oh, hopefully, you know, they get a hit on this one. But who knows? A and another strike. Nice. So that'll do it for Charisma. Yes. yes. Yeah, see, I got, I got that one right. And that is two outs for the Jow Panthers. So, with a runner at first and two down, the Panthers will now send to the plate. Number and 12. Coming up to bat will be Elizabeth, Isabella Cohorse. Good job. Best crew in the world right here in Jow, New Mexico. <laughs> well, don't. Don't boost our ego now. Come on, I'm trying to boost mine. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so here we go. Panthers could use another run across the plate here as they trail it 10 to 1, or is it? Yeah, yeah. it is 10 That to is one. right. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure I didn't mess it up here. You know who we haven't seen in this game? I think it's Natalia Rivera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> another basketball player. Mm-hmm. Those, she was, those two right there are the ones that I remember the most from the basketball team uh, this season as they, they handled most of the work uh, on the floor. Both of them young and good players, aren't they? Yes. They, yeah. It's going to be some good battles in the district next season. Tatum had a few 8th and ninth graders on that squad as well and were ranked number one for most of the season. Now another hit batter. So now runners at first and second here. Tell you that uh, I'm, I'm guessing she's releasing the ball early as it's tailing back towards the uh, left side. Of course, I throw overhand. <laughs> I wasn't much of a pitcher. I had a fastball about 12 miles an hour, so you know, wasn't wasn't uh, the heat everybody was looking for. And new batter is Anna Ross. There you go. So we are starting the lineup all over again. Back to the top of the order yes. and the leadoff hitter in Ross. Uh, she takes a strike on the first pitch here from Rodriguez. Two down and two on here for the Panthers, who trail it by nine. Swing and a miss by Ross, and now a snap throw. The first gets Ooh. away as uh, the they were trying to catch the run. Woo! She made Napping. it to third. She did. So runners now at second and third. Got to make Coach happy seeing him move along the base pass, but an 0-2 count here. You know, one struggle I had while I was playing softball is sliding. I never got it right. I just, I found it so scary. Another strikeout issued as Rodriguez catches the plate on that pitch. And, uh, well, that'll do it for the Panthers in the second. But they do score a run and now just trail 10 to 1. They'll see if they can stop this Hobbs lineup as we come back for the top half of the third in just a few moments. Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. Mamacitas and Jow has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jow, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jow, is a proud supporter of the Jow community. Welcome back to Jow, New Mexico. The only place in the world whose lake spells out the town name. Anybody know that? 
I didn't find that out till like two years ago, yeah. after living in Jow for like a long time. So yeah, I, I've heard the there's you know. decent fishing at Jow Lake. Haven't been there in many many years now, but I'd, uh, I I need to do that some weekend. Just come over here, and wet a hook. Either way, ten one Hobbs leads over Jow here, and uh, Talavera is still toughing it out there, but she's she's in some uh, discomfort at the very least. And look at this. Hobbs is going to be back to the top of the order again. Is that correct? It is. As it will be number two coming to the plate. Who oh, yeah. is? Mariah Zamperro. Zambrano. Zambrano. There you go. So we'll see if Butts can work her magic here in this top half of third. Oh, and she bunted. Good bunt laid down. No play at first. Butts was there. And uh, Talavera can't really get out of that st uh, crouch into uh the defensive posture she needs so it's going to be on butts should that bunt be laid down unfortunately the runner quick enough to get the first and with nobody out and one on two knew what she was doing with that play yeah really Pretty did. smart coach probably called that one this ball oh. hit up the third baseline they call it a fair ball as it did get over the bag it it hit once in front of the bag Goes over and then into foul territory, which is a fair ball. So a good call there, and it's a well two person on situation here. And Hobbs is looking much like they did in the first couple of innings. Looks like they may be able to push a couple across. Runners at first and second. Nobody out for the third batter, who is Sol Rangel. There you go. See, they're all over this. First pitch from Butts is a called ball and, and second steal. stole third. Right now the awareness not there between the pitcher and catcher. And so now runners at first and third on the corners here and a 1-0 count. The so Butts will step back up onto the mound. And she will deliver a ball Ooh, to Oh, oh, and then two the took doubles, it home. The double still there. So safe on both ends will make it an 11 to 1 game here in the third with a runner at second in scoring position. Nobody out and a 2 0 count. Hobbs really running the base pass here. You got to wonder if coach is going to make a change behind the plate, but a lot of people just don't like to catch you know uh not only the gear but like me i i'd close my eyes when they swung the bat when i was back there <laughs> so it's kind of hard to catch with your eyes closed but i don't flinch on the foul balls like y'all so, uh you know. um, i don't think we do anymore now we're telling lies we'll see we'll see mm -hmm. we'll see we'll see but I, all i know is y'all gonna owe me a, a gatorade if this continues <laughs> at the baseball field mm -mm. Oh. Two and one to count, and the pitch is hit right back at Rodriguez or at Butts. She's able to retire the runner. I'm getting the two pitchers mixed up now, but <laughs> that is the first out of the inning. The runner does advance to third on the play, but there's an out there. New batter is anyone? Fourteen. Anyone? Um, no. Marina Venezuela. I yeah. hope I got that right. Very close. If not. And it went straight to shortstop. Oh, and good she play. is out. Did she pull the foot off or the did bag? She? We'll see. I couldn't tell. I couldn't see the umpire's uh, signal. But she I is retired. That is an out. Mm -hmm. That's two. So two outs now here. That was a close call. It was. It was very close. Couldn't tell if the first baseman kept her foot on the bag or not. But uh. According to the Empire, she did. So that's good. That's a 1 0 count here. This could actually be one of the first games where the uh, Eagles don't score five, I guess. You know, they've got <laughs> one across in the inning. And coming to bat or batting now is Ruby Garcia. And you can see the catcher kind of limping, just go get the ball. Yeah, she's, she's definitely in pain back behind the dish. Toughen it out, though. Yeah. So the call will be 2-0, two, oh, two and no strikes. 
Uh, and we can tell that the glare is starting to get to the camera a little Ooh. bit. We'll see if we can remedy that. Okay, shortstop, will she make it to first? Oh, she, she she's, did. she's and, safe. Yeah, they'll say that the foot was pulled off the bag that time. Yeah, it kind of it kind of looked like that just a little. Mm -hmm. So you guys are saying you agree with the umpire's call there? I do too. But. Yes. So that'll be a runner at first and two outs here now for the Eagles who already lead it. 11 to 1. We'll see if we can fix the glare on the camera here in between innings. Talavera digs that one out and gets it back to Butts, and the runner stays put over here. I think it was a 1 0 count. I thought they called yeah, it. Yeah, I believe so too. Yeah, I think they called the ball on that one. And batting now will be Carissa Singala. I think that's C it. Singala. Singala. Oh. No oh, N in there, but S I G A L A. And now a hit. Batter as that one comes up and gets the shoulder here. In 20. The pitch from oh, no, Butts. No, no. Now, no, this is. Now it's 23. She got hit by a pitch, so she's on bat. So on this base. is Carissa. See, so she got him. Oh. Yeah, so the last <laughs> batter was uh, the pitcher, Rodriguez. And then Rodriguez hits three batters in the top half of the inning. Maybe a little pay back there. Not saying anybody threw intentionally at anyone. So <laughs> now Seagal is at the plate. Runners are at first and second for Hobbs with two outs here. And then 11 to 1 game that the Eagles lead over your Panthers. Fouled back behind the plate. And that'll be an 0 1 count. So I will uh, leave you two to it so I can find a solution for our glare. And uh, don't forget to play the commercials. The sponsors really help us keep this on the air and mm -hmm. bring these games to all of you at home. And we truly appreciate and each and second every one of advances them. to the third base, and then third base drops the ball. Now he throws a second, gets away. Oh, and third base takes it home. One of the things that'll kill a team is throwing the ball around the infield. And uh, that is the case here. It's 12 now to 1. No, 13. Oh, 13. Yes, excuse me. To one. And Eagles in the lead. And what's the count? 0-2. Oh, so a strike away from getting out of this without allowing another run are the Panthers. But they have their work cut out for them here the rest of this contest anyways. Ball hit hard over at third. Picked up. Thrown across. And in time. It's out. To retire the runner. So through two and a half, it is Hobbs. 13. Jow one, and we'll be back in a few with more Panther softball. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Jow Panthers and proud of all the Jow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. Mamacita and Jow has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jow, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jow, is a proud supporter of the Jow community. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jow Panthers. They are and we are back. 
Again. Again, <laughs> yes. Um, we have number... Okay. I think... No? Yeah. You can't hear? No. Okay, what about yeah. now? Yeah. We have Jonna Butts batting. And the score is Jal 1, Hobbs JV 13. So far, the call is 3-1 with three balls and one strike. No outs yet. Right now, we have Andy Arnold catching. And... Rodriguez pitching. So far, it is an interesting game as we see Jal batting. How are you f How are you feeling about this game? Uh, I feel like it's going a little slow and not so much in back. Yeah. And that was a foul. Yeah. Good. And Jonna Butts will be back to bat, as the call will be 3-2, three, three balls, two strikes. And Jonna will be advancing to first base, which brings up a new batter, Alexa Talavera. Which is wearing 22. Yes. So... And first pitch will hit her foot, which is hurting. Is hurting already. <laughs> so right now she's just trying to run it off. So now we have runners on second base and first base. And oh. right now she got subbed out, and it's Alani Mendez on first base. And she, she will be number five. Yep. Coming up to bat is Madison Inglet. And first pitch will be a ball or a strike. A strike, yes. That one was really high, but it's too bad that her bat went over the plate. Maddie, Madison Inglet will be number 14. And that's going to be another strike. She does hit it a little bit, but it like kind of bounced back. Needs more power. Yeah. Still, same runners on first and second. Call will be 0-2 as the third pitch will almost hit her in her shin, which is so scary. <laughs> keeps going, she keeps going for the ankles. I know, but I don't think it's intentionally, so. The call will be two balls and two strikes. So... Hopefully, they get a hit on this last pitch. Hits it a little bit on the fourth pitch, but not quite enough power. So, she will be batting again. And I just find it so interesting. Like, I, I don't... Oh, oh and another strike. Which that. is one out on the Jow Panthers. Now, coming up to bat will be Alejandra Mendoza, which will be number six. Oh, and, oh, and it she is hits good. The ball, gets Alani Mendez out, and Inglet makes it home safely, which. Oh, Jonna. Jonna Butts makes it home. Safely, as Ale Mendoza stays at and first. is safe at first. Now, coming up to bat will be Mairi Nieto. She will be number two. So, right now we have a runner at first. And we have two outs for the Jow Panthers. The score now will be 2-13. to 13. First pitch will be a ball. So, the call will be 1-0. I hope the camera views are like good, you know, like the angles. If not, I apologize. And then there was, uh, she kind of tipped the ball there, so now it's one to one, one ball, one strike. The Panthers really need to get some runners to home. 
as the score is 2-13. to 13. Hopefully, Maideen Nieto can do that for the Panthers. As the pitch is... Another tip, which makes it strike number two. So that will be one ball and two strikes for the Panthers. Hopefully, she can hit this one. And, oh, and there it does. is. Can, oh, center field couldn't catch it. Now Ale is going to third base, and so is number two. And they are both going to take it home, which gives the Jow Panthers four points. Four. So it makes the score now four to thirteen. I guess I guess I did say it. I said it before it happened that Mighty <laughs> will get it, and she accomplished that. Coming up to bat right now will be Amila Melanson, number ten. First pitch will be a ball, leaving the call one to zero. Looking, looking studious, studious. Second pitch will be a ball too, so that will leave the call two to zero. Ooh, this sun is really hitting me. I think I might get a little tan. <laughs> so far, the call is three to zero. Three balls, no strikes. Um. I think they switched out balls. I wouldn't really. Kind of looked like it. Yeah, like. I was going to say if that was a pitch, I was like, ooh. <laughs> but. And that was strike number one? Yes. So the call is three to one. Three balls, one strike. Two outs for the Panthers. And she gets walked to first. Now coming up to bat will be Charisma Rodriguez, number nine. First pitch will be a ball, leaving the count one to zero. <sighs> Imagine getting hit with a ball though. That's what I was always scared of. Yeah, me too. I would be scared. Oh, and she and got we, hit with the ball. You just spoke that into existence. I am so sorry. But Charisma Rodriguez will be at first base. So now we have runners at first and second base. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout for the Hobbs JV. And the coach is going to go and give them a talk, maybe to the pitcher. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. Um, hopefully there's no more okay. people getting hit out here I hope that one seemed like it hurt Charisma a lot <laughs> and Dusty brought me an umbrella so that I don't get tan as I'm already already you know, cooking I'm, a, I'm already cooking sun. yes I'm holding it. Just keep it away from the lens, and I'm going to try to get this camera set up there. Okay. We're going to move in between games. I'm going to move the camera down. Okay. Uh, and what happened is, what happened is. Coming up to bat, or batting now, is Elizabeth Cohorse, number 12. The call will be 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike. And... Here goes the third pitch, and oh, and it, she, she hits will that. hit it, and um, she is out, which makes the this makes it the top half of the fourth inning, and we will be back with we'll more back. softball, <laughs> Jal Panther softball. Mamacitas and Jal has a broad selection of specials. 
try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jal, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jal, is a proud supporter of the Jal community. Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. The staff of the Jow Public School District is proud of their Jow Panthers. Those late practices, hard work, and dedication paid off. Go Panthers! Jow schools have continually provided a quality education and safe environment for the students. Jow Public School System is on the move. Are you ready? Jow Public Schools, another proud sponsor of all Lee County athletics and academics. And we are back. Right. Uh, working the camera is Valeria Costa, and mm -hmm. me speaking is Natalie Navarrete. And I brought, I got my umbrella, so no more cooking out here. <laughs> <laughs> the score is four to thirteen as Hobbs JV takes the lead. Coming up to bat is. Number I can't really five. see her number that well. I think it's number five. Or is it three? No. Five. Yeah, it's number five. Yep. And that's strike two, so it's going to be o oh two zero balls and two strikes. Number five is Andy Arnold. Hopefully I said that right. She is the Hobbs JV catcher. The call will be one to two, as there is one ball and two strikes. Hoping, you know, Jonna does her magic and... <laughs> Gives her a strike. Yeah. Yes. But, you know. She doesn't, so that's going to be ball two. So, so the call will be... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this heat is actually getting to me. Like, I, I feel like I'm cooking right now. Like, I'm, I'm burning a little bit. The fifth pitch will be a ball, so the call will be three to two. And hoping y'all can see that. And Ooh, there it is. She hits it right up to center field, and she does not catch it, so she's going to go advance to second base. See, if they caught it, and they Woo! didn't, but too close to third and right by the pitcher. So now Hobbs JV has a runner in second, is now getting switched out by number 17. Um, no. Oh, look, it's right there. Um... I want to say it's Anna Melendez. I could yeah. say that wrong. I apologize. Now we are back. And the batter is number one, Katie Petersons. She plays right field for Hobbs JV. First pitch was a strike, which will leave us with the call of 0 1. You know. Mm -mm -mm. You're lucky you're in the in the little shade. In the little shade. It'll go down here at the second game. The second, like the next inning or what? No, the second game. Oh yeah, hopefully, because I'm like. And today know. is um. I don't know what you call it. We have two varsity games. Oh yes. For the Jow Panthers. The call will be two one with two balls and one strike. 
We got Hannah joining us here. She's taking care of the scoreboard. You know, she's she's doing a pretty good job. Both of y'all are in the shade. I'm over here burning. But anything for the views, anything for the angles of this game, you know? It's okay. Okay, and the fourth pitch was a ball. So we'll leave us with the call of three to one. Three balls and one strike. Still the same batter, Katie Peterson. And we can hear Hobbs chanting at the moment. Her name is Kaylee. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, it's just in case. Sorry, I've been saying the wrong name. No, 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 you keep it over there. As we hear Hobbs chanting, probably to distract our pitcher, which is Jonna Butts. She's doing an incredible job right now. And that will be our first out for Hobbs as we get a new batter. I think we're back on top, right? Yeah. So line up, yeah? Yeah. And it goes straight to center field. Which Mighty Nieto caught the ball. And that is two outs on the Hobbs JV team. The batter was Mariah Zimbran. Zombaro? Yeah, I'm going to have you say the last names because <laughs> I'll mess them up. Coming up to bat right now is Ornelas, number 11. Here is the pitch. And that looked like it's going to be a foul, but it was really close to the pitcher, and she gets out. That will be three strikes, putting us in the bottom of the fourth inning. We will be back with more Jow softball. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally. Which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. They're excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Um, oh, oh, it's, there it is. because <laughs> my thing was down. Anyways, we are back for more softball. More score, <laughs> score, scores. More softball with the, can you even hear? Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Hear score is 4 to 13 as Jal has four points. Visitors, Hobbs JV has 13. We are in the f end of the fourth inning as Jal is coming up to bat. Batter will be on a Ross. And here we go. This is great. Oh, and Woo! she bunts it and it gets to the pitcher and Woo! first base dropped the scary. ball so Anna is safe. So now Jal has a runner in first which is on a Ross, number one. And coming up to bat will be number 11. Jono Butts. And you can see that she attempted to try to do a bunt. As number one, Ross, steals to second. The call will be one to zero as there is one ball, no strikes. And Anna Ross advances to third base while they keep dropping the ball. Yeah, you know, it's okay, though. And call will be two balls, no strikes. 
And here goes the third pitch. Barely, barely hits the bat, which will be considered a strike. So the call is two to one. We hear Emmy Lujan giving some advice to Jonna Butts. You know, and that was had to be a ball. Yeah, that was really that was really up there. You know, I can't like I was talking a while ago. I can't ever imagine getting hit with like the ball. Like oh, you just know that hurts. Oh, and then yes, you see eleven stealing first, and now she's going to second. No, now she's going back to first, and while Anna is. Not safe. She just got out. Yeah. But Jonna Butts will be on second base as we now have one out, which was on a Ross. She tried to make it to home, but was a little bit too late and could not make it. Coming up to bat will be Alexa Talavera. Let's see if she can run with that. Ooh, and let's see if she can run. She's limping. She's trying. She's trying to run it off. Wow. And Num she is safe. Number 11 makes it to third base safely. And now they're going to get a base runner. And that looks like Alani Mendez, number five. Oh, I guess two it outs. is two outs. Jonna Butts did get out. Oh, she Jonathan. did? It's oh. an obstruction call. Which means she ran into Yeah. Which means she ran into somebody. So the call will be zero one, one strike, as Madison Inglet is up to bat. Ooh. And that looks like it barely hits her. Or as number two, I think, Alani Alani Mendes? Yes. Steal second. Yeah, I had a really good opportunity to uh, push a run across on the last couple of plays. The obstruction call really hurt there. But there is two outs now and a 1-2 count. Yeah. And, yeah, oh, you already called it. Yeah, call. so I, I was going to tell everybody we will fix the glare on the camera in between games here as uh, we'll switch our positions here at the ballpark so you'll be able to view a little bit easier. And uh, you'll probably still need your umbrella though. I'm just gonna yeah. tell you, it's pretty warm out there. Feels so good in here. Oh, and that makes it up to center field and it looks like Alani Mendez is taking it home and, and England stayed on first. So 13 to five now the score, just an eight run ball game uh, as jow has been putting some runs across and your batter now is going to be is that number six yes Ale Mendoza is up to bat right now we have a runner at first and she strut or steals she Madison Inglet does steal second and that was a smart play there the throw went into center she was smart not to run beyond second though as a uh, mm -hmm. center fielder was all over it Ooh, that one uh, called ball so one one count I thought that hit her she like did a little jump yeah, gotta have that quickness cat like reflexes in the box <laughs> so here comes the one one Ooh, and she fouls that ball which makes it one two one ball two strikes Panthers do have two outs at the moment and score is 5-13. to 13 On the bottom half of the fourth inning. And y'all are picking this up so fast. <laughs> I appreciate everything you guys are doing. And England steals to third while that ball just kept rolling. Really want to thank the JAL schools also for letting you guys have a slightly early dismissal today <laughs> to come learn a little bit more about the equipment. And I appreciate you guys showing up too. 2-2 two, two count now here with two outs and runner at third for the Panthers. Good cut, fouled back, and it will remain 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, let's hope no one's car was right outside that field. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah. So that went right out. Yeah. I, I learned a long time ago. Yeah, park 
little ways down. Mm -hmm. So, everybody, and now another you, and another one. one, and another one. See, this is a good at bat. You're making the pitcher throw extra pitches, tire, uh, putting some fatigue on the arm, but the hanging tough with two strikes is a skill, really. It really is. Yeah. Hopefully, no cars were damaged. So. Hopefully not. I don't think she has insurance. <laughs> Ooh, strike three called on that pitch. It looked a little high to me, but yeah, it that did. is the call. And as we sit, it is now 13-5. Do we head to the fifth? I don't know what the run rule is here. Uh, it'd be eight after five, I think. So we, uh, we'll be back out on the field. So we'll have the top half of the fifth inning coming up for you guys in just a few moments. Jow Trails, 13-5 to the Hobbs Eagles. Mamacitas and Jal has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jal, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jal, is a proud supporter of the Jal community. Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. Back again for HobbsAmerica.com. I'm Dusty Windham. Beside me, Valeria Acosta, Natalie Navarrete, both uh, Panthers in their own right. Yeah. And I'm not cheering for anybody. I graduated from the black and gold there, you know. Mm -hmm. Sort of. <laughs> did I graduate? Yeah, I think I did. Did I graduate? <laughs> it's been a long time, you know. <laughs> when, when, you, when you think about your 30th class reunion coming mm -hmm. up in a year... Then you know it's been a while. Yeah. But First eagle batter of the inning is number fifteen, I wanna say, which is Sol Rangel. There you go. And she'll take a strike on the first pitch. Yeah. Hannah, do you get to laugh at us the entire game? Is that what it is? <laughs> we we provide comic relief for Hannah. Yes. Milan said, see? That's twice I got it right today. Oh. Y'all better watch out. Oh. Oh. It's 1-1 one, one count. <laughs> no, the Milan's. <laughs> hey. I, I mean, you are getting better at names, so yeah. that's good. Except my own. That's, that's well. always a problem. <laughs> the 1-1 one, one is across, but outside <laughs> on the call from the umpire, it's 2-1. And one. And I tell you, you should do the JC games. You got people like, you know, uh, Issei Yanagisawa on the team and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Y'all nope. can handle that, right? <laughs> no, I could barely say half these names. <laughs> I could barely read half the names. Issei, a pitcher from Japan on the T-Bird roster. And that's going to be a foul. And strike two, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. How many outs we got? Uh, Zero outs. There you go. Y'all get to run the scoreboard for this next game. So you're going to have to be ready. Hear that, Natalie? I'll be in charge of the camera. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it, well, usually the camera person is the person that operates it. Honestly, no. And, and oh, well, how the tables have turned. Yeah. Oh, and a and another car. Another I, don't windshield. Think, I don't think that one got far enough out to hit the car. It uh, hopefully it, not. It had, a, it had a slightly downward trajectory. <gasps> Big word. As, uh, you know, <laughs> that's about as big as words get here for me the verisimilitude you know and all that you know that one me neither all right yeah, so we've got tell you. now a 2-2 two -two count still nobody out still the same batter there you go and the call is three to two sorry i zoned out i like looked at the board and i was like <laughs> i was like are you gonna which finish which number am i looking at <laughs> i was like which one there's so much up there so it is a full count payoff pitch coming here from butts Still and when she hits it and hits it right to first, uh, unlucky for her. That's a good play made, though. Ground ball mm -hmm. into the glove. Turn around, tag the bag, and there's one away. 
Coming up to bat is number 14, Marina. You see, this is what I mean. Is that the Valenzuela? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, Valenzuela. I'm not even going to try. I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> you stop midway. <laughs> it's okay. And first pitch is Swan. good. It's hit over it's short, and hey, there's that play. Oh, did the foot come I off don't, the It kind of <gasps> looked like it did just a little bit. Ooh, the umpire did call her out. Uh, Jow got a break there, I believe. Which will make it two outs for Hobbs, and JV. Who's coming to the plate now? And number eight, Ruby Garcia, will be batting now. All right, there you go. So the first pitch from Butts. Is a called strike. That was a faster pace pitch. It was a good pitch, right about the knee level. We and we'll see what the 0 1 brings here. It's a cross. Oh. It's swung on, hit into well, right, center. fairly deep. Oh, oh now she and barely, missed. barely caught it, then it just dropped. Tell you what, that, that ball was about six feet from being a home run. I mean, that, that was a pretty good knock on that one right there. It will be a stand-up double on the play. Coming up to bat will be number seven, Amaya Rodriguez. I think I'm getting better at these names, I hope. And you'll continue to do so? Yeah. So now, new batter, of course, just mentioned. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if Butts First. can set Ooh, and that one okay. goes to left field, and it's not caught. So another run's going to come across for Hobbs. and Number eight makes it home. Two out, RBI double. Big shot that time, and now the score 14 to 5. Eagles over your Panthers. We have two outs for Hobbs JV as 23, number 23, Carissa takes it home. Sagala. Or which? Is that Sagala? Yeah. Oh, no, she, no she's, she's at batting. the plate. Oh. She's yeah, at the plate. Yeah, yeah, she's batting. Oh, Valenzuela? Who, who did we have before? Oh, it was Rodriguez. Oh. Okay. Rodriguez. And now we have... Carissa. Mm-hmm. And first pitch looks like a strike to me, but it is a ball. But who am I to say? You know? You know, you're, you're the person announcing. You're right. So. You're right. I'm going to go down there and, like... Uh, have a chat? Yeah. I'm going to be like, ah, uh, that looked, uh, you know, like a strike to me. Now it is a strike as the call is 1-1. One, one, one yeah. ball, one strike. One well, good way to get yourself thrown out is to argue balls and strikes, no doubt. Actually. It really is. Oof. Umpires do not like that. Never mind. I will not be going Should we go there. test it out? No. <laughs> Mythbusters? No. I don't know if y'all have a debate team here in general. No. Well, then well now we not. do. We don't even have a band team. I know. I wish we did, though. Hopefully. See us marching down Main Street. We've got a 1-2 yeah. count here after the foul ball. And still two outs here. And for the Eagles, they have a runner in scoring position at second base. Here goes the pitch. And it's a... Ooh. Must have been just outside. I mean, from this angle. Mm -hmm. It was... Oh. It was out. Oh, they did call a strike. It, that was the longest delayed strike call I've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so either way, though, that will end this inning, uh, or at least this top half of the fifth inning. But the score now is 14-5 Eagles. They have a nine-run lead as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Take us to break. There we go. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. And we are back. 
with us we have myself in charge of the camera valeria costa and right next to me we have natalie never 80 oh never 80 mm-hmm mm -hmm. you know added a little twist to your last name you know <laughs> Never ready? <laughs> you know, all the, I've heard all the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and as we stand here, the score is 5 to 14. Ja has 5. Hav has 14. Don't look at me, Hannah. You're making me nervous. <laughs> Hannah's like staring at me with like these eyes. It gets me a little nervous. These blue mesmerizing eyes. <laughs> <laughs> mm mm. So, <laughs> so how's this game going for you, Hannah? Are you enjoying your job as scoreboard yes, person? That's good. That's good. <laughs> you know, it must be a hard job. Mm -hmm, yeah, hard. I know. <laughs> and now we are starting this off with Mighty Nieto coming up to bat. And our pitcher, Amaya Rodriguez, will be throwing the first pitch and Ooh, and she hits it and she's going to second and then she's and now going to third and let's and see she stops there yes yeah you know every time she bats she does it so effortless i know it like swings it, them arms mm -hmm. it makes it look like so easy and i'm just like you know what yeah put me really down there it looks like like no try but it goes so far mm-hmm you know what? Like, I, I just want to get down there and be like, you know, let me hit the ball. We got a new batter, Amila <laughs> Melanson. Sorry, I just had like a little pause. You know me too. I was like, wait. Pause. And <laughs> <laughs> number 10 is Amila Melanson. And we have, Ja has a runner at third. And the call will be, one, one, one ball, one strike. Oh, and she and hits it to she hits second. It. And is not there on time. So she is out. That will be the first out for Jal as Charisma Rodriguez, number nine, comes up to bat. Oh, they oh. did. They did as Mighty Nieto makes it to home and scores. So now the score will be six to 14. And Ja has one out. Now, now batting will be Crisma Rodriguez. And looks no like idea the ump is saying something. Oh, I guess we're all good. I don't know what happened down there, but first pitch will be ooh really really high, which will be a ball. <laughs> <laughs> Which the call will be one to zero. As and Chris then he's oh stops it again. Yeah, I don't know what's going down down there. And oh, and that will be a foul ball. And here's the top of their dugout. Hopefully, nobody was hurt in the process of that. The call will be one 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 ball one strike and. Ja has one out so far. And here goes the third strike. I mean, the th third, the third pitch. pitch. I can't. I can't speak right and now. And it's a ball. So a 2 1 count here. Is I'm back. Now they're going to bring out the coach, Coach McCoy, for the Eagles. As he, uh, I don't know if he called time or the umpire did there. It looked like the umpire. 3 1. Gonna be, uh, it's gonna be 3-1. That's what Miss May said. Yeah. 3-1? Yeah. So the call is 3-1 now. We had a little, you know. A delayed reaction. Yes, yes, That's all yes, it was, yes. a delayed reaction. Yeah. Oh, the uh, pitch count? Yeah. The, the pitcher has to have the ball out of her glove when oh. she's walking up to the back. Oh. Like oh, so yeah, when you're approaching it, it, it it has to be in your glove, no, or it, it can't be, be in your it glove. Be. Okay. The more you know, you know. Yeah. I'm learning a I've lot right now. That one. Me either. That's that's uh pretty cool. I I, I yeah. did not know that. So. I didn't either. 
Miss Melanson taking care of us up here. I told you she <laughs> keeps us straight. Mm-hmm. She the knows what she's now, talking though, about. Is a three-one count. As Charisma Rodriguez, number nine, uh, fouls is the ball, ball and it goes. They got out of the uh, area. It hits the overhang. That's the big bang that we heard there. Oh. So that's a full count. So yeah, no. the, the pitcher's actually done a pretty good job in mm -hmm. this ball game. However, as you say, not taking the ball out of the glove. I, I guess that's so the batter can pick it up in case it's inside or anything and uh, could hit him. Uh, another foul tip that will keep the uh, Panthers alive here in the inning. And, again, you can wear a pitcher out just fouling pitch after pitch off, and the fatigue could set in. Ooh, that was really that's high. That's a walk. That should be it, right? And Chrisma Rodriguez takes first base. There we go. Next batter. Next batter will be Isabella Cohorse. She is number 12 coming up to bat. And Ja has one runner, which, like I said, was Chrisma Rodriguez. Yeah. And well, that one's lined into right field. It is a fair ball. Going to get down the line. Runner already to third for the Panthers. Did she make Coach it? Yep. Sender. And it's safe. Second. safe. At second, they do call it safe. And a run comes across. So that will make it, what, 14-7. to seven. Uh, Back to just a seven-run game. Coming up to bat is number one, Anna Ross. And, ooh, the glare is really there. Yeah, so a one. And a strike. Uh, a one-out uh, base hit that scores a run for the Panthers. It keeps them going here in the fifth with a runner in scoring position as well. Now the 0-1 count. Yeah, and as we see, Anna Ross and Emmy Lujan are talking right now. So a little delay in the game real quick. And we're back, so... Anna Ross will be batting. And number 12 are the pitcher, which is, is that number 12? Yeah, it is number 12. I can't see. Oh, yeah. The pitcher? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, the pitcher is number 12? I thought it was number 7. No, it, they, I think they changed pitchers. The call right now is 2-1, two, two balls, one strike, and one out for the Panthers. This glare is, like, glaring right now. Yeah, as long as, uh, you know. Is it pretty bad on the camera, mm -hmm. I would, I usually would stand, like, over there more by well, Dusty. The but no, but, like, I would stand right there and then, like, move the camera. But, I mean, it won't help the camera. It won't help the camera, though. And there goes the second out as Anna Ross is taken out. So coming up to bat is number 11, Jonna Butts, our lefty, an icon, you know. <laughs> and our pitcher. Yes. And Woo! she hits it. Right into center field, and center field catches it, which makes it the third out. Which makes it the end of the fifth inning, and we are now entering the sixth inning. As the score is 7-14, to 14, and we will be back with more Jal Softball. You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star Energy Efficient LED bulb. One that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. 
Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. And we are back. <laughs> With me, I have Natalie Navarati. Mm -hmm, because I messed up your name last time, so I don't want you to get mad at me and, you know, throw your headset at me. And, of course, <laughs> me, Valeria Costa. And then we also got Valeria Costa. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, that, I'm done. <laughs> Never mind. Just kidding. Here we are into the six. The Panthers have managed seven runs. Problem is, they've given up twice as many. Here to the Eagles early on. I'm going to take over on the camera a bit and see if I can't keep that glare a little bit better for you guys. As uh, it will be, is it, it still is butts out on the mound, isn't it? Yes. And first pitch is a ball. A ball. Which yep. leaves us from 1 0. Are we like back up on the top? In the top of the sixth inning? Yes. Oh, in the top of the order, you mean? Mm hmm. Who is that bat? That is number five, five. I believe. Maybe. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. She's, like, way down the line. She's, like, right yeah. there. Yeah. She is the catcher for Hobbs JV. And that is Andy Arnold. Mm -hmm. Behind her will be Kaylee. I believe it's Kaylee. Uh, yeah. It is Kaylee um, Peterson. Now and this one fouled off, and we've got what an O2? E2 O2 two or two one. one, excuse me. See, this camera messes me up. You guys can't have me back here. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah two balls, good. one strike. Score is seven to fourteen. Hobbs is in the lead. And a another ball there. The count will be 3-1. So three balls and one, one strike. strike. I think we're in sync, Natalie. I know. I sounded like an echo. Ooh. <laughs> it, is a little, it is a little eerie, man. Y'all almost sounded like two. <laughs> through the mic or through the headset anyways. No one's gonna know three who's one here. is going to be a ball issued here and a walk. So runner on base here with nobody out. And I think we're back up top. No, nope. I could be wrong. You're at the nine hole with Peterson. And I thought she just. Oh, was that? No. Mm -hmm. Was that Peter? No, this is number no. one here. So this is Peterson. Oh. Yeah. See? Well, can't really see through this thing. And but that's going to be see. a ball. Mm -hmm. So the call will be one and O. Oh. That is the count. You know what? I need to stop messing with that pen. You're just going to hear. And that's going to be a strike. She tipped the ball, but didn't quite follow through. So the count will be one and one. One ball, one strike. And, yeah, I think. I honestly did not understand. Ooh. Ooh. Woo! Ooh. That one a liner. Good. What a play made out. Wow. Got two people out at the same time. That was good. That was good. And Solid that made. was Amila Melanson. So two outs now. Mm-hmm. Here as uh, we keep going. I think we switched headsets. Did we? I thought I was on two. Is that your neighbor here? I don't know. I can't read. <laughs> two outs here, though, in the inning. First pitch was a strike, so the o count will be, yes, 0-1. There you go. You know, you beat me to it this time. I, I like to jump in there. <laughs> Just something I do. It's okay. It's okay. Is it, though? No, no. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Panthers still trail it by seven. It is 14 to seven. And they're looking to get out of this inning. They're going to need a bunch uh, to come back in this ball game. But the opportunity is there. Just got to keep swinging the bats. You're never out of it, I tell you. And 
you know what I always thought as a player was like, if you were down two outs or two mm-hmm. runs, it was easier to get two than it was one because you're just concentrating on the one, not trying hard enough to get two. And a lot of times, I, I don't know, that was my philosophy. If, if, if we were down two, it seems like we could always score three. But if you're just down one run, but now down seven, you just got to keep hitting. So you, you, you go up with that mentality, can't get an out. Yeah, I think that was just you, though. No, no. <laughs> I'm pretty. Well, it might have been. It's a one-two Ooh. pitch now. This oh, one. Oh, hits it to left field. Yeah, right over short, it looked like. So now. A base knock. Hobbs does have two outs as we have. Oh, that, oh, as they have a runner at first. So the new batter is going to be. I can't see. Yeah, um, it's going to be <coughs> or. Or Ornelas. Ornelas. Okay, so we're – I know where we're at now. Yeah, there you go. Just trying to keep you on your toes. First pitch is a ball as they'll bounce in front of the plate. Runner does steal second on the play. And the call – the count will be 1-0 as they have one ball, no strikes. And here goes the pitch. Can be outside for a ball that time. Ooh, Two and, and did she and make it? Oh, it's third. Misses the ball. So dropping it before the tag, and the runner will make it all the way to third on the play. So now with two outs and they run close to the plate, the Panthers really need to buckle down and get an out here. And can't see. here goes the pitch. Up high for a ball. So the count will be 3 0. Three balls, no strikes. So usually your coach will tell you do not swing until you see a strike come across the plate. Uh, you're taking the whole way. Oh. Green light there, though, and a swing and a grounder to Butts. Butts is able to make the play and retire the Eagles there to keep the score at. 14 to 7. We're heading to the bottom half of this sixth inning now. And the Panthers are going to have to score some runs and get through this one. Uh, we'll be back in a moment with more Panther softball. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. All right, we are back again here in Jal, New Mexico. The Panthers trailing the Eagles 14-7 here as we're into the bottom half of the sixth inning in this uh, Lee County softball battle. Do we have a new pitcher? I guess we do, number two, what? which is Mariah oh. Zim- yeah. Zombrari. Zombrano. Zambrano. Okay, and I need she to was you can lead your own, right? I can't. She Good. was our center field. Yes. Okay, I figured She's out my mistake. In. I put an A instead of an O. So. Trying to shut down the Panther lineup as they've been able to score some runs in the, the past few innings against these Eagles, who were enjoying a ten nothing lead, then an eleven to one lead, then it was twelve to one, and the Panthers just keep fighting back to stay in this thing. They've had to work hard to get there. And uh, they are now there. Who is number 22 for the Panthers coming to the plate? Alexa Talavera. Yeah. That is the catcher who has been hurt. Uh, you know, limping yeah. a little bit. She, yeah, she still looks like she's in well, pain. Well, there, there's hurt and then there's injured, right? So if, yeah. you're, mm-hmm. if you're hurt, you can still go. You're injured. Psh, that's it. 
Oh. And so uh, McCoy is the head coach for the Eagles here, and he is going to be looking at the lineup to make sure they're batting in the correct order is what I think he's doing out there. Anyhow? Yeah, I think that's what it's going on. So and he'll now the umpire will head over and talk with uh, Coach Luhan. And that would be an out, though, isn't it? An automatic out if you're out of order, correct? Yeah. Oh. I just wanted to do that so bad. <laughs> that cap doesn't stay on very well oh. on the bottom of the tripod here. I thought you broke it. That, no. No. We never break things. You're right. We don't. We're, we respect our equipment, you know. So, uh, of course. Right now, with the uh, – with the stoppage in play, we'll see what the call is here from the umpire in a moment. I thought about taking a break, but it may not take that long. <laughs> Again, we're going to be moving the camera so you'll get a better angle. A little less in the sun here. I'm going to pan it over here to near the dugout and see if well, the window in the way just a slight bit before you can see the umpire is there. And now coming back to the plate is coach. And looks like, is it going to be the same batter? Still Talavera? Then I guess they are not out of order here. Or at least that's the ruling. I don't think the uh, Hobbs coach was happy with that call. Yeah. I was guess he speaking he didn't. French on the way back to the dugout? I, thought that's yeah, I, I think I so. <laughs> I think so. Just a little bit. So. The Panthers now will have Talavera at the plate. Swing and a miss on the first pitch here from the new Eagle pitcher, who was in center field, right? Yes. yes. Now it's Zambrano. And it's an 0-1 Ooh, count. This that's... one popped straight up. And an out. Good play made out in the field by the Eagles to put one away here in the bottom half of this sixth inning. Talavera's really gotten this one out. You, got, you, you really do have to give her some credit here. Yeah, yeah, she's in pain and still limping it out. If nothing else, that shows a ton of heart, a mm -hmm. ton of desire to be on the field. New batter will be Madison Inglet, number 14. Inglet takes a strike on the first pitch across. Oh, no, a ball? Did he come up? Oh, okay. All I saw was his hand, you know, come up with the uh, sun here, but a 1-0 count, and now it's 1-1. We evened it out here. Mm -hmm. A ball and a strike, and now you said you uh, are going to be gone this weekend? Yes. Miss Valeria Acosta, were you? Uh, are you going to be track meet again? or No, I will be heading to state for powerlifting. Powerlifting? Yes. Are you, are you a, a powerlifter? Yes, I am. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I don't look like it, but I swear. She's wiry. You know. That's what it is. You know. Got the uh, lean muscle out there. One and two <laughs> now to count. So, uh, so in powerlifting, or is this like you know the the big barbell and you got to bring it up and then over or? No, I don't. I don't think that's how we do it here. How, well, I'm asking how. You uh, do it. we do deadlift, which is like you just pick it up. And then drop, yeah. uh, yes. hold it, and then put it back down. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So, uh, what's your uh, what's your personal best? Well, let's not talk about that. You know, there's six hundred pounds. <laughs> you already <laughs> know it. Uh, two and two of the count here. <laughs> That'd be like eight of you. Yeah, I know. That, that's that's crazy, but oh, and then she oh, misses. Let's go into center field. A little bit of an old lay play out there at short here for the Eagles. So. Now the Panthers with a base runner and uh, still needing runs to come across. Coming up to bat is number six, Ale Mendoza. Oh, what is going on? He was waiting for the pitcher to get back in the circle with the ball before he would call the time, the umpire was. Hmm. Didn't know that wow. was a rule either. Interesting. Now I do. The more you know. Yeah, I guess we're all learning. So now with... Uh, one out. And that was and really high. So is that a one-oh Wow, 14 
Still oh. second, but gets out. Good throw and a tag laid down there. Making this two outs for the Jow Panthers. So that's Inglet, correct? Yes, that is Madison Inglet. Maybe we can... Uh, Ooh, and swings a little high, and that is going to be strike one. So the call will be, or the count will be, one one, there with you go. two outs for the Panthers. And that one and almost inside. hitting Ale is going to be ball two. You know that was actually scary. I always get scared whenever like the ball's like getting too close to like the batter. Nah, you know? that one a bit low that time. And it's going to be a ball called for a 3-1 count. You just got to make sure you get out of the way. It's, it's self-preservation more than anything. Mm -hmm. So here's the 3-1. And another Walk. high pitch making it the fourth ball. Why can I not stay in Which the scoreboard? Ah. Advances Ale to first base. Coming up to bat now will be Mairi Nieto, number two. First pitch is a strike. She hits, or but she swings and she misses. Ale was really close to stealing second. Sadly, didn't quite make it. It was she a good throw by the catcher, though, yeah. to, to uh, put it right where it needed mm -hmm. to be for the tag to be made. And You have to give uh, the catcher credit there. Yes. But she is still on first base. As Arnold was uh, definitely there. Yeah. So what do we have here? We have the 1-1 one, one across for a strike, and it's 1-2. and Two, two outs and mm -hmm. a runner on for the Panthers, and they really need every run they could get here. They trail up 14-7 in the sixth. Good pitch. Took a little something off of that. Way out in front of it was the batter, and that will do it for the inning. So now a 14-7 score heading to the seventh as the Eagles lead your Panthers. We'll be back in a moment with more Panther softball. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. The staff of the Jow Public School District is proud of their Jow Panthers. Those late practices, hard work, and dedication paid off. Go Panthers! Jow Schools have continually provided a quality education and safe environment for the students. Jow Public School System is on the move. Are you ready? Jow Public Schools, another proud sponsor of all Lee County athletics and academics. Well, we're back in Jow, down to the final inning. And the Panthers trail these Hobbs Eagles 14-7. The Eagles with the top half of this seventh inning will look to add to that lead. But is still on the bump for the uh, Panthers here. And at the plate is number five for the Eagles. Oh, I thought that was or number 15. It is 15. That yeah. will be Sol Rangel. I, I, caught, I caught the back of the jersey there. Oh. And it looked like it was folded over just a bit or, or had that ripple anyways. Mm -hmm. Couldn't see the one. It happened. First, first pitch was a strike. So the count will be 0-1. No, you know what's really crazy is the uh, ability of the Eagles to continue to uh, score throughout mm -hmm. the game, but the Panthers have really shut them down the past couple innings for the most part. They've been yeah. able to put some runs on the board. There's still a lot of hope here in Jow for game number one today. Swing and a miss that time for a strike, and it's one and two. Yeah, but hopefully – you know. You got to believe, right? Yeah. Without you know. confidence, mm -hmm. can't do a whole lot. So the one-two on its way here shortly. Oh. And, and out the park. Backwards, though. So it didn't score a run, <laughs> at least, uh, as the Panthers already trail. 
Hoping no cars seven. were hit on that one, you know? Hopefully not. You know, is it is it wrong of me to just say, you know, as long as it's not my car? You know? I don't yeah, think. Like, yeah, like, as long as it's not my car, I don't care. It, it, that's, that's just not right. That's not oh. being good to your fellow man. This ball driven into right field. And, and missed. Yep. It'll drop for a hit. And it is going to be a single there. New batter is? Marina Valenzuela. Boom. But, yeah. yeah. I'm getting it, guys. I'm getting it. You know what? So I'm it is basically it. like the country. Oh. This and goes hard. out to center field. That ball is hits off Hits the, the gate. Wall. And the runners, one runner is making it home, and the other one's decides to stay safe and stay on second. That's some wheels from Rangel right there, getting all the mm -hmm. way in from first base. Of course, that ball was driven deep yeah. into uh, the gap out there. And it's a 15-7 game. I didn't think so. I was looking like, where did I miss this? <laughs> Coming up to bat right now is Ruby Garcia. So now And we'll out the field backwards again. Sound like a hit a car, but, you know. Hopefully not. So oh. now we got the old one. Nobody out. And here goes the pitch. But and hits to left field. Oh, and, and caught. caught. Caught now. by Chrisma Rodriguez. Oh, had and the play been made at second by, I believe that's Mendoza over there. Mm -hmm. That would have been a double play had she caught it before the runner got back and Man, that would have got – well, it would have been second out. Sorry. <laughs> As we were led astray by our scoreboard operator. Mm -hmm. We have been fooled by her. The inhumanity here. <laughs> Anyways, do have an out now. This Ooh, one right back in straight to pitcher. She'll, she'll go to first here for the out, and the runner will advance, however, to third for the Eagles. As we are now – a or down to two outs here in the inning and coming to the plate will be number 23 and that is Carissa Segala and here comes the first pitch bounces gets uh, behind the catcher Talavera who popped up pretty well that time still limping but the runner is held at third by the Eagle coach McCoy she does look to be walking a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Maybe loosening up as the game yeah. progresses. It's a, catcher is probably the hardest position on the field to play, in my opinion. You've got to be aware of everything out in front of you and everything coming at you and everything that's I, – I just everything. Mm -hmm. Plus, if it gets by you, now you got to turn around and you got to know where the runners are. you got to know if you got to make a throw or if you need to fake the throw, hold on. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's really tough. It's – you kind of direct a lot of the action on the field as the catcher. The count will be 2-0. This ball is hit hard. Over towards third, the shortstop. Ooh, up with it, oh, but a run will score here. And she made it to first safe. It had to dive back in, though, after overrunning the bag. But your score is now, what, 16-7. to The Eagles in the lead. So they have gone from a 7-9 to run lead here. Just in this final seventh inning. Uh, over at short, the, the Panthers have had some success with the glove. The slow roller that time did not help much uh, on the defensive play. So here's the pitch. Now swung on, popped up on the infield. Going to get over oh, the and head of Ponce, just missed. Off the glove. And runner will stay put at second. So you have runners at first and second with two down. Or is it one down? Yeah, it is two down. I knew that. <laughs> Or, yeah, are we right now? Okay, I want to make sure because I get confused. And it wasn't your fault. Just a lot going on out here. As we're still looking for a better camera angle, I know exactly where we're going to move, hopefully, uh, after this game. And coming up to bat is Kaylee Peterson. And here comes the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Where that will be. Right there. Yes. So the count will be 0-1 as there is one strike. Thank you so much. Had to get a drink there. 
And could not talk, but <laughs> a swing and a miss there as well. Which will be the count of 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike. Yeah. she went. I thought she went across. Maybe the uh, umpire didn't think she did from his vantage point. Third pitch will be a ball, making the count 2-1. Maybe less than that glare there with an umbrella, but <laughs> not having much luck. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't really work. So now we're going to have a conversation between coach and umpire yet again here. Maybe a pinch hitter. Or is it a new batter? I couldn't see the number. Um, No, I think it's the same batter. It's number one. Okay. Which is Kaylee Peterson. If I did not already say that. You did. Oh, well. But, and you did it twice, so you're yeah. doing it right. <laughs> uh, one thing you'll learn in this industry is you'll announce the score and any time left. Uh, and oh, she hits it sh straight pitcher, but she misses it, tags out. What is that, number 12? Or was that number 15? Number, I don't know. Number 17? Number no. 17. Oh, okay, the uh, pinch runner. Yes. Okay. And made that three outs. So, we'll head to the bottom half of the last inning. Trailing by nine, will the Panthers. Uh, some people tell you to take a miracle, and it would be a small miracle. But right now, down nine, they're going to have to really work hard to score it. We're going to keep the uh, broadcast here as we uh, continue to bring you Panther softball. We'll talk a little bit about everything else that's going on in the world. The Eclipse Day. Anybody go out and check it out, take pictures? Or oh, yes. I did looked you have at it. Goggles? Yeah. You looked at it? I would like glasses. <laughs> oh, I am okay. not, I'm not that crazy. Okay. I was about I to like say. My, I like having eyes and eyesight. <laughs> Does anybody else wonder why this one was such a big deal when we just had one in October? It's because this one was a total <laughs> eclipse. The other one was just a regular eclipse. We didn't get to see the total part here in southeastern New Mexico. Yeah. No, you couldn't really see it that much. When, when it is perfect, it's, uh, they call it the ring of fire, right? Because the, mm -hmm. uh, the moon or the shadow. And I think it, Carl's, it hit Carlsbad all the way because then it has Ooh. Man, that's not fair. Like you know, I, I heard schools were count, canceling over the eclipse. I'm like, really? <laughs> it, it, man, when I was in school, people would run over a kid right out in front of school and you uh, you had to go on Saturday too because of that. You know, oh my bad. goodness. I'm just playing. You know, that bad. <laughs> Uphill in the snow both ways, all mm -hmm. that good stuff. Here we are. We are in this bottom half of the seventh, the last gasp, if you will, for the Panthers here in game one. We will have game two about 20 to 30 minutes following the conclusion of this one at the umpire's discretion, of course. Ooh, and hit her ankles again. How many hit batsmen is it? That's like five, six, five is how many the uh, Hobbs pitchers have hit in the game. Yeah. Still don't believe they're throwing intentionally. You don't throw intentionally at somebody with a seven-run lead. You just want to get the game. <laughs> yeah. Done. So that is the case here. So um, who does that bring to the plate? It will bring up number nine. Who is? Charisma Rodriguez. There you go. You guys are doing great. Four or 16 7, excuse me, your score here in the bottom half of this seventh inning. Panthers need nine to keep it going. Oh, that Ooh, was way straight to third, inside. but misses. Man, that was a hard hit ball over at third. I don't know if I'd call that a hit or an error. It, it, it was hit hard enough, it probably will be ruled a hit there. But runners at first and second now here and. Here's that rally. They're gonna they're gonna get this uh rally going here in the last this inning of the game. This is the first I've heard them rallying all game. It's so far, pretty solid. That ball was up and in. I think she swung at it out of self defense, <laughs> but it was hard enough hit that uh, it resulted in a a knock there and a two on that one away up high. Batting right we'll now is number twelve, Isabella Cohorse. So. so the 2-0 coming here from the pitcher. Uh, and high I, again. I, I gotta remember the pitcher's name is Zambrano. 
uh, after the pitching change. I thought Rodriguez threw pretty well throughout the game. Gave up a few runs for Hobbs, but uh, threw pretty well to get uh, into the uh, fifth inning anyways. Zambrano's been on since the sixth. That's a good pitch right across for a strike on 3-0. You got to hit that plate. She did there. And here comes the pitch. Ooh, and this one will be called a ball. Again. So that's going to be a walk issued. And guess what? The sacks are full. Bases are loaded here. And that will bring up a big opportunity for the batter. Is that Ross? Yes, yes. that is Ross, number one. Here goes the first pitch. And, and well he, ooh, hits her own player. So that, if it's, it was in foul territory, so the player is going to be okay. Uh, but if she's in fair territory and gets hit, she's out. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. I yes. didn't know that. You get hit with a ball that's batted, and you're in fair territory. You're, as a base runner, you're out. That's crazy. Like, not only are you getting hit, but you're also out. She just got hit when she was up to bat. <laughs> yeah. She, you know, gets hit <laughs> Poor thing. by her own teammate this time. <laughs> it's like, man, it's not my day. <laughs> but here we are. Bases loaded. Nobody out. 0 2 count here. Make it 1 2. I'm kind of curious as to why. Well, no, I'm not. She just got hit twice. You're not going to send a runner right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. so. Oh, my gosh. So the 1 2 on its way here. The Panthers are in business, though, trailing by nine with the bases loaded. Nobody out here in the final. Oh, and she hits it into shortstop. Play at third is going to be an out on the fielder's choice, but a run does come across to make it 16 to eight. So now just eight runs away with an out, but still got two runners on base as well for the Panthers as coming to the plate will be Jonna the Butts. pitcher, Jonna Butts. Yes. And here goes the first pitch. Ooh. Up high and inside that time for a mm -hmm. ball. Let me get it. The camera closer back over to the plate. My fault, folks. Do not blame Valeria for that one. That was on me. Yeah, guys, I'm not in charge of the camera anymore, so. <laughs> yeah, oh, she yeah. is just not right at the moment. That's all it is. <laughs> Ooh, so, and, and first base misses, so John has this opportunity to go to second. We got a player at home who is safe, which brings the score up to nine. Nine so, to 16. So just seven runs down, which is where they would have been had they not allowed runs. You know, could have been a five-run game at this point. But still, things going well for the Panthers. Uh, just one out. Still got runners at second and third here. Coming up to bat is Alexa Talavera, number 22. Yeah, it'd be fitting for her to just crush one over the wall right mm -hmm. now. The, the game she's had and the toughness she's shown to uh, remain in the ball game. But you, you got to admire the Panthers' rally here in the ninth. This oh. one is hit towards short. And Bobbley and allowing a run to score. And Talavera will get to first safely to make it 16-10. Runner does make it home, making the score 10-16. to Jal only six points away from catching up to Hobbs. And Alani is the base runner for Alexa Talavera. And coming up to bat will be number 14, Madison Inglet. And... So Inglet uh, has a chance here. Uh, well, get him back to within about three with a single swing. And here goes the pitch. Swing and a miss that time. Strike will be the call. So it's 0-1 now to Inglet. 16-10. But that's a three runs across in the inning for these Panthers. And it is the final inning here. Swing and, and, and a miss. another again. swing and a miss. That will make the count 0-2, making it no balls and two strikes. Panthers have one out. Madison does have a chance, and she hits it. The ball is hit or is caught by the pitcher, thrown to first. It does advance the runner. And now in this 16-10 contest, the Panthers down to their final out. So now. at the plate, it will be... And that's going to be... Number six, Ale Mendoza, Mendoza, coming to bat. I couldn't remember her first name. I knew it was Mendoza, <laughs> but I didn't want to mess it up. So thank you, Valeria, for keeping that 
there. Uh, foul ball. Hit. Chopped down the left side. Back towards the Panther dugout there. The Panthers are down to their last out here, guys. And uh, the rally, though, has been nice. Getting the three runs across. Showing some uh, heart are the Panthers here. Not that we question that. Swing and a miss there. And now it's 0-2. Down to their final strike are the Panthers. As the Hobbs Eagles lead it, 16-10. It's going to be Ooh. Zambrano to the plate, a swing and a miss, and that'll end the ball game here. The Eagles will take the first contest here at 16-10. We'll see you back here in about 20 minutes or so. We're going to try to move the equipment, get rid of this glare, get a little shade for uh, Valeria and Natalie as we're going to be uh, letting them take the reins in game number two. Ooh. But again, game one, 16-10, Hobbs defeats Jow. We'll be back in a moment. About 15 minutes, really. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jow Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics.
You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star energy efficient LED bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jow Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Dow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. The staff of the Jowl Public School District is proud of their Jowl Panthers. Those late practices, hard work, and dedication paid off. Go Panthers! Jowl Schools have continually provided a quality education and safe environment for the students. Jowl Public School System is on the move. Are you ready? Jow Public Schools, another proud sponsor of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. So we are back here in Jal, New Mexico. I'm Dusty Windham. Jal dropping the opener of this contest uh, in a heartbreak, actually. Uh, it ended up being, what, 16 to? To 10. There you go. I knew I didn't even have to tell him to keep the score. Um, this will be the first solo broadcast of Ms. Valeria and Ms. Natalie as I'm going to hang back in the shadows here and, and check their uh, technique and critique them a little bit. But... We will uh, be able to bring you this game. Hopefully the picture much better on your screens there at home. And for HobbsAmerica.com, we're, we're really glad to have you here. And uh, hopefully, uh, Jow can get on the board early and often in this one. And folks, I'm gonna hand it over now, Natalie and Valeria. Well, this is exciting. This is very nerve wracking just a little bit. I just want to sincerely apologize if we do stutter throughout this game. It will happen. We will get a little nervous, you know. So, but hopefully y'all enjoy this game as we will be, you know. Commentating just yes, a little bit. The host. A little bit of jokes. Maybe just a little bit of jokes, you know. Who knows? Who knows? Anyways, so how do we feel? How do we feel about this? You know, I feel... Tell me about it. Right. I don't need yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, but no, how to actually. I feel like I'm going to get things wrong, mm -hmm. but that's okay. Yeah, I feel like, you know, since this is our first, you know, alone little thing we're doing, we will be messing up just because, you know, that's... It's in our blood, you know? Yeah. We, we mess up a lot, you know? But... We're just mess ups. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and we are waiting for Dusty to get us, you know, connected to our to the scoreboard. Get us situated. Get us situated. You know, right now we are 
you know, looking at the rosters for both Jell and Hobbs. And we will be practicing these names. Yep. As we might get them mixed up or like, you know, we might not say them right. So apologize for that one too. But I feel really good about this game. You know, it's something something new. And throughout this whole game we might mess up, like I said, but we will learn from our mistakes. What are you doing? I'm trying to like rewrite <laughs> my little thing. Yeah, our handwriting is not good. I think that's what's messing us up. Yeah. Yeah. Theirs is messing me up just a little bit. <sighs> <laughs> and we are still waiting for No, we're not. We're we're good to go actually. But anyways, we are hopefully the view is good from the camera. As hopefully there is no glares and anything like that. Okay, it's good. We're good. We are good. We we will be back when the game starts. And we'll be back when the game starts. So. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jow Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. In game, whatever, or in broadcast, make sure when you're done you do that before you turn it off. Okay. We are back to the second game. Against Jal and Hobbs JV. JV? Yes. Yep. Um... It's getting a little chilly out. It was a, a like hot. A yeah, it was yeah. really hot. So we have changed locations, so y'all can get like a better view, no glares or anything like that. So yeah, and we have Natalie Navarrete mm -hmm. and Valeria Costa to be, you know, commentating this game. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. be commentating the game. Yes, and <sighs> this is our. And yeah, I guess we're starting. First to bat is. Um, mm, what number is that? I don't know. Hold Marina on. Zamboni? Number two. Yeah, Marina Zamboni. The or Zamborano. Zamborando. Okay. Not E. First, first pitch was a ball, which leaves the count as 1 0. Ooh, and that looks like they are going to catch it. So, 
The person that caught that was Madison Inglet. Good catch by her. But also good hit by Zambor Zamborano. Yes. Now up to bat is number 23. And this was the name that we struggled with the most. Sid? Yeah, couldn't tell you. Hold on. Um, what number is she? 23. 23. Carissa Sig... Sig... Sigal? Sig... Sig... <laughs> We're just going to call her Carissa. <laughs> Carissa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so first pitch was a ball, leaving the count as 1-0. Second pitch Ooh. is good. Hits it closer to center, center field and in between right field. 23 is going to second. And, and makes it there safely. Which was a really, really good hit by her. I I would be scared to get hit by that, actually. Yeah, she, and <laughs> she got really close to that pitcher. Mm -hmm. Anyways, coming up to bat is number 15, I think. That's um, going to be Sol Rangel. Yes. First pitch is going. And it is good. And, and it's out. Yep. It will be a strike. So the count will be 0-1. Um, yeah, I think that Jal's defense is really, it's really showing, you know. I mean, we just started. What can we say about that, you know? But hopefully, uh, hopefully we, you know. Hopefully we can get a little bit better. And yeah. maybe a little bit of communicating. Mm -hmm. Now I think then we'd have a really big chance of yes. winning. Second pitch was a ball, which leaves the count as 1-1. One, one. Um, um, and that was a ball. So that's going to be two and one. Two balls and one strike with one out from the top of the inning. Yes, and so far from what we've seen from, you know, the couple of hitters or – Oh, and that went straight to first, and they tried to get second second base out, but she was too fast. And now batting is number 14, which is going to be Valens Valenzuela. Valenzuela. Valenzuela, yes. And going straight to shortstop and drops it. She makes it to first base safe, and so does the third baseman. And that's going to be third is 23. Coming up to bat right now is number seven. And that's going to be Rodriguez. Oh, it's okay. And... We are Why on a hold. <laughs> Why do I hear myself? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Dusty, Dusty, Dusty's messing with the camera. Dusty That's is the messing with the camera at the moment. So if y'all see it move a little bit, it's because, you know. <laughs> and right now we're at a quick pause. Which I don't know why. Because I'm in the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And here goes the first pitch. And it's a ball. Why can I hear myself? This is like <laughs> distracting me. It's okay. I know it's distracting a little bit, but. Has a runner at third. And that's another ball. Making it a two and one count. Yeah, I think John is working our magic out here. I mm -hmm. know, and she's doing really good because yeah, she just she pitched another game. Mm -hmm. She is a strong pitcher, so got to give a little shout-out to her. And yes, and they didn't have to switch her out once. Mm -hmm. The fourth pitch was a ball, so the call is 3-1 with Hobbs having two outs. And here is the fifth pitch. Ooh. Ooh. Did you see that hit her? Yeah. It did hit. Me personally, I did not. I just seen it hit um, Lexa Tillavera. Oh, yeah. Her. Yeah. I thought that's what we were talking about. Oh. Because it was a ball. 
so that she, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That she got walked because she got hit or something. No. So now Hobbs has a runner at first and at third. Coming up to hit is number 13. Um, That's going to be Addie Rolston. And Maddie catches it and throws it to first, making it three outs. And we are now entering the bottom half of the first inning. And we'll be back with more JAL softball. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. And we are back at the bottom of the first inning. The score is still 0-0. Zero to zero. No one has scored. And right now we are seeing Hobbs warming up a little bit. But coming up to hit will be Anna Ross, Anna Ross number one. And honestly, it's getting a little chilly out here. Really? Yeah. It feels good out here. I'm just kind of scared of the mosquitoes that are about to come out. They're going to bite you. Because I'm sweet. Oh, okay, okay. Also, hopefully, Anna, you know, starts this game off really good as she is the first batter from Jal. So. And it's a strike. So the call, or the count will be 0 1. That was the first strike. And we are awaiting the second pitch right now. And here it is. Will be another strike, making it two strikes. Count will be 0-2. Hopefully, y'all can see it on the screen. Hopefully, I'm not messing it up. And right now, no one has scored any runs. The right. third pitch was a ball, making the count 1-2. And now we await the pitch. Ooh. And a swing and a miss, and Anna Ross is out, making it one out for the Jow Panthers. Yeah, I think, but I think, like, so far, I think we're, you know, both teams are looking great out there, you know. Yeah. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Coming up to bat is number 11, Jonna Butts, the lefty. Ooh. <laughs> See the little motion going? Mm-hmm. And first pitch was a ball. So making the count 1-0 with the Panthers having one out. And score. two balls. Score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Hopefully, Jal can get some runners on out there and a swing and a miss for Jonna Butts and that's going to be one strike and two balls yeah I think do you smell that I smell food I think we're hungry I think we <laughs> might be a little hungry Ooh, pitch was a little high making it a ball so the count will be 3-1 um, I think I think Jonna could hit this you know I believe in it I believe. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. And that was 
She was walked. So now Ja has a runner on base, first base. Coming up to bat is Alexa Talavera. As we know, last game she did get injured. So hopefully, oh, like her. Ooh, and Jenna Butt is going to steal second base, but they dropped it. So she's going to go ahead and go to third. See if she can she, she make it. Yes. Oh, wait. She did not. She actually trips. And the third baseman actually caught up to her. Now, Jal does have two outs. Alexa Talavera has. Ooh, and oh, and she hits it to third. Let's see, can she make it to first? Ooh, nope, she did. And the first man, or the first baseman kind of dropped the ball a little bit right there. Yeah, I feel like, you know, if she would have caught the ball, I feel like that would have been three outs, you know? But. Yeah. I mean. But now she has Alani Mendez going in for her. And coming up to bat right now is Mighty Nieto, number. Oh. It's number two. Oh, and, and good hit. That's a. And they catch it, making it three outs for the Jow Panthers. We will come back in the top of the second inning. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star Energy Efficient LED bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. And guess who's back? Us we again. are. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome back to the game against your one and only Jow Panthers and Hobbs JV as they are the visitors. You know, so far, it's, you know, moving a little slow this game, you know. Yeah. Last game we did move like, it was going by really fast in my opinion. Usually, but the faster games for me like last like an hour and a half. Actually, like where they start to mercy roll. Oh, so that's a fast game. No, just I depends actually. Yeah, I think it just depends. You know, it, if the other team just like keeps just scoring on the other team, that's just when it lasts forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we are now in the top of the second inning. Coming up to bat is number eleven from Hobbs. And that's going to be Orn 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 Ornelis. Ornelis, yeah. <laughs> yes. And pitcher is still the same. Uh, it is Jonna Butts and our catcher, which is Alexa Talavera. First pitch was a ball, so the count will be 1-0. And before we got out, you know, before we come back in, we were talking about food. I think we are actually really <laughs> hungry, so... Like whenever you see someone and they turn into like a turkey. Oh, I don't think about that. We're gonna all these players are gonna be turkeys. Mm-hmm. We're like, <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Second pitch is it's ooh a tip, which is gonna be strike one. It did hit her bat, like you know. I heard mm -hmm. it. Going, I heard pew, it too. Pew. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, but I think John is doing an incredible job right now, pitching. You know. For somebody that just pitched not that long ago. Yeah, for a whole game. Ooh, almost hitting Jonna Butts. Goes into center. Is going to go to second. And the runner is safe on first. 
So now Hobbs does have a runner at first. And coming up to bat is number 17, I think. And number 17 is going to be Melendez. Yeah. Am I like going crazy? Uh, quick pause right now as the catcher and pitcher are talking. And might be giving some advice, maybe. I don't know. Who do you think is giving who advice? I think both, maybe. <laughs> you know. I mean, who doesn't love some good, you know, advice now and then? Yeah. yeah. So, like, you know, <laughs> it just depends. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. It just kind of <laughs> depends on what advice you're giving. I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. But first pitch is... Ooh, Ooh what is good. that gonna be? A ball. Oh. Yeah, it looked it looked like. Yeah, it looked like it looked like a strike from here, but I feel like it could have been a little too in. Mm -hmm. I agree. And now awaiting the second pitch. As she oh. gives her time a little bit to cool off. And that will be a strike. And the count will be 1-1. One, one. From what I just saw just now before that pitch, I guess the pitcher and the catcher communicate with each other like with numbers. I find that really interesting. I didn't know, <laughs> you know, they do that. Anyways. I wonder what they tell each other. I know. They're like, <laughs> they're like a low ball, high ball. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. Anyways, third pitch was a ball, making it, making the count. Two and one. No outs on this one yet. Oh. Ball three. I don't know. These are these are looking like strikes a little bit. I know, but remember what Dusty said. We're going to get kicked <laughs> out if we try to argue about it. So hey, I'm not arguing. I'm just, you know, yeah. observation. I think, yeah. You know, Mike. I don't think. Oh. That, that one did. Yeah, that one was like a ball. ball. Now, Hobbs does have runners on second and first base. Coming up to bat is number one, which will be Kaylee Peterson. I remember her name. Number I remember. one. Mm -hmm, number one. And look at them communicating with each other. You see it? Yeah. Ooh, that was a ball. A ball. You know what? Maybe like we're s we're seeing different things. I, I don't think know. maybe we're like a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're seeing straight right or now. Or no. Or maybe we aren't crazy and we're it's, just it's like seeing it right. It's him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, you're him. right. <laughs> you're right. It's we're, not us. we're never wrong. It's we're you. never wrong. Oh. See that one? And she makes it to third <laughs> safely and both runners steal base. Number 17 is on second base now. And who was the other one? Uh, I don't know that one. No, that's number one. No. That's number 17 over there. No, that's number 17. That's number 11. I think. I don't yeah, know. That's, num that's number 11. Well. Ooh, a swing and a miss for Peterson. Now the count will be 2-1. Let's see if we can get someone out for the Jow Panthers. And... Here goes. Oh, Ooh, and she fouls, fouls the ball. Yes. Making it 2-2 two -two as she has two balls and two strikes. One more strike could make make one out for the Panthers. But who knows if they will, you know. Guess we'll see what the ump says. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Too high. In the sky. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know you could rhyme. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna listen in kindergarten. <laughs> now the count is three two. Oh Ooh, okay, and it goes right to first base and she is out. Runner does make it to home, which is I don't know what her number is, but number eleven? Yes. And that's gonna be Orn or Ornelas. So now that makes the score one to zero as Hobbs 
does take the lead just a little. Ooh, and a swing and a miss. Coming up to bat is number two. Some Sembrano. You know, I don't even know if we're saying these names right. <laughs> Sambaro. I'm, I apologize <laughs> if we are not saying these names right. It's not me. It's Natalie. <laughs> She's saying them. She, <laughs> she has the roster, too. I don't have the roster. You do. <laughs> I'm just in charge of the camera and the scoreboard. Anyways, so... <clears throat> now, with two strikes, no balls, and one out, the score is 0-1 as Hobbs is taking the lead. Ooh, oh, and she hits it to closer to shortstop and left field, and she stops at first because they took it to second. Number 17 from Hobbs makes it to home. Making the score zero to two now. So, how fun, you know? It was great, great hit by number two. You know, <laughs> why are you why are you laughing? Natalie's making fun of me because I talk weird. Oh, oh, is she gonna make it? Yes, yeah, she does, and she goes to oh, she does not go to third. And now, <laughs> who is batting now? Number 23, I want to say. I think. Uh, no, is it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's 23, 23, and that's going to be. You're in charge of the names, don't you? <laughs> Carissa. Look at me. And Hobbs does take the lead by two. As Jal has not scored yet. The oh. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated with myself. I can't speak right now. Hobbs does have one out. And the call is 1-2. She has two strikes, one ball. And, you know. What can we say? What can we say? Literally. You think we're going to flinch this game? Nah, I don't think it will hit us. I don't even think it will try it. Like, you know what I mean? It will make it to us? Mm -mm. Oh. And it goes right past shortstop in the center field. And everyone on a base was safe. And we got one more point from... Number know, two. Number two, Zambrano. So the score right now is 0-3. Hobbs is taking the lead, and uh, Hobbs has one out. Coming up to bat is number Ooh. 15, and she hits it. Number 15 is Rangel. <laughs> she makes it. Oh, she makes it safely to first base. They do end up getting number 23 out at second base, making it two outs for Hobbs, and. Coming up to bat is number 14. And that's going to be Valenzuela. Ooh, you're getting really good at this. <clears throat> yeah. But first pitch was a strike. So the count is 0 1. Two outs. Score is still the same 0 to 3. Hobbs is taking the lead. So. How, how do we feel about this game so far? What are so your opinions? far, it's just, you know, slow pace, just kind of vibing with it. Mm hmm. And runner does steal second base, is safe at second. So Hobbs now has a runner at second. I just literally just repeated myself. <laughs> okay. But. Just defined it different ways. Yeah, just, you know. I can't, I can't do this anymore. You just can't. Third pitch was a ball, so count is 2 1. Right? Yeah. yeah. I got it right. I got it right. I got it right. Uh, runner still at second. Looks like she's not trying to steal. 
and waiting for the fourth pitch and fourth pitch will be a ball making the count 3-1 with two outs and we hear Hobbs chanting 3-1 Ooh, that was a strike you know I find I don't understand half these like what's it called these chants oh you know like 3 1 I would get it cuz it's like that's the count you know but like yeah. I just don't get it <laughs> like I don't I don't get how y'all make these like just up you know I like the more creative chants like the longer ones ooh not the free bases we got free bases that went to shortstop now it's going to first and ooh. 14 is out making that three outs for the Hobbs JV and we will be back to the second inning the bottom of the second inning and we'll be back with more JAL softball you've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an energy star energy efficient LED bulb one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime you just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. And we're back. I was going to sing it, but I didn't want to hurt people's ears. You know, I'm too good at singing. I'm, I don't think you hurt people's ears, you know. I think they would be amazed. Yeah, I think I could be on, like, Americans Got Talent or whatever. Mm. Too far? Maybe. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we're back at Jow versus Hobbs. Jow is not on the board yet. Zero to three as Hobbs takes the lead. Ooh, and Inglet goes to third base and she drops it making her safe at first which was a really good hit actually like very good hit it was sharp it was low mm -hmm. yeah I'd pay money to get hit with that ball <laughs> <laughs> coming to up to bat is Ale Mendoza hope I said that right yeah yeah and it will be 1 as the count. We are awaiting the second pitch. Ooh, and another hit in a strike. Oh. The angles are really bad. Sorry, guys. I'm like a bit chilly. Me too. No, now you feel it. Now I'm, now I'm feeling it. First base was trying to get runner out on first out. <laughs> but she was just too slow. Yeah. And the count right now is one, two. So one ball and two strikes. And another hit and a miss, making it one out for the Jow Panthers. You know, I, I had faith. I really did. I was like, ooh, she's going to get it. But, <laughs> you know, it's okay. It happens. Maybe the next one. Yes. And coming up to bat right now is Amila Melanson. First pitch was a ball. So, you know, hopefully she hits it. Hopefully she hits it, yeah. The next one. And, but shout out to Hobbs pitcher number 14. That's going to be Velen Velenzuela. Yes. Ooh, and Amila uh, is out. Making it two outs. Inglet made it safe to second. But, as I was saying, number 14, she got it. She has an arm. Yeah, she has an arm. 
some fast pitches. Mm-hmm. You know what? It kind of scares me. Ooh. Ooh, and go. There goes someone's car. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> you know what? And it was really, really close, so. But uh, who hit that? I don't know who this is. But um. I want to say it's. Hold on. It's Charisma Rodriguez hitting that. Hopefully she did not damage no cars, you know. <laughs> you know, hoping. hoping. Though we did hear kind of a big boom. Yeah, we did, sadly. So <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard it, but. But we sure did. We sure did. Mm -hmm. uh, third pitch. Will ooh, ooh. And that's going to be a foul. But really, really good swing there by Charisma Rodriguez. Ooh. That and now kinda. we're on 0 and 2, zero balls and two strikes. We have two outs for the Panthers. Score is zero to three. Hobbs is still in the lead. That that swing was really good though. I got a little scared. Like, oh, there it Ooh, is. There. Okay. Ooh, and it goes right through shortstop, and left field just doesn't catch it, and she drops it, and England made it home, so she's gonna go to third, oh. making it safely. And she made it. Chris Rodriguez made it home. I mean, not made it home, made it to third. <laughs> but Madison Eaglet did make it home safe. That sounds, <laughs> well. She made it home. Coming up to bat now is, I want to say, Isabella Cohorse. Yes. And that will put Jell on the board as the score now is one to three. And uh, one ball, no strikes. And that's a hit and a miss. That was a really... Oh, a swing and a miss, not a hit and a miss, guys. <laughs> she did not hit it. It's okay. It's okay. She has it this <laughs> one. She has it this one. Believe, believe, you know. And here goes third pitch. It will be a ball. Making the count 2-1. Two, two outs for Jow right now. Uh, score is still 1-3. And oh, Ooh, and, and there she it hits is. it right to pitcher, but she misses it and straight to first, and she's out, making it the third out for the Jow Panthers. This will get us to the third inning now, right? Yes. Yeah. And the score is one to three, and we'll be back with more Jow softball. Iron Horse Sports Grill is now open. Burgers, wings, steaks, salads, pastas, oysters, and tons more, all delish. Check out their full online menu on Facebook under Iron Horse Sports Grill. Open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. For takeout orders, just call 395-2109. That's 395-2109. Iron Horse Sports Grill, a taste you'll remember. 204 East Kansas Avenue. The staff of the Jow Public School District is proud of their Jow Panthers. Those late practices, hard work, and dedication paid off. Go Panthers! Jow schools have continually provided a quality education and safe environment for the students. Jow Public School System is on the move. Are you ready? Jow Public Schools, another proud sponsor of all Lee County athletics and academics. We are back. With me is myself, Valeria Costa, and Natalie Navarrete. Of course. I'm not going to say your name anymore just because you got she got really mad at me because I just <laughs> said it or like you yeah. said it with like a weird way. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm getting hate on it now, yeah. so It's cuz, you know, how? Ooh, Ooh. into center field. Goes straight to shortstop, and she stays on first, where she will remain safe. That was a really, really good swing by number... I want to say that was number 17, but I could be wrong. No, number 7. Right. Yeah. yeah. By That was Rodriguez. Right now on the plate is Addie Ranston, and Rodriguez just stole second base. And right now, the call is 1-0, one ball, no strikes, as the visitors, Hobbs, JV, does take the lead by two points. Ooh, and that's 
What is this going to be? It's it was a foul, a so foul. that will be a strike. So the call is 1-1. One, one. So 13 remains on the plate, and Rodriguez went back to second. And here comes the third pitch. Oh, there it is. And and she, she hits, hits it to it. shortstop. She catches it, puts it at first, and she is out. But Rodriguez remains safe on third. Wow, that was a really good throw by Anna Ross. That was a good play. Mm-hmm, good play. A little shout-out. You know, little <laughs> shout-out. Coming up to bat right now is number 11, and that's going to be Ornelas. And here comes the pitch. Ooh, and that was a strike. Ooh, she did tip that a little bit, but just was not enough power. You know what? I should be down there. Yep. We should be down you there. You should be out there. I want to be like, give me a jersey right now. <laughs> I'll hit the ball. I'll I'll hit a home run just for you, Natalie. I want to see it disappear like <laughs> like a diamond. Well, I don't I don't know about that, but you know. <laughs> Second pitch is... Ooh, and she tips it again. Making it two strikes now. Call will be 0-2 with one out for Hobbs. And Jal is just two points behind as the score is 1-3. to three. Hobbs has three, of course. You know, common sense. <laughs> now awaiting the third pitch. It will be a ball. So call will be one two. And in this glorious night, it is getting a little chilly, like we've been saying throughout this whole game. <laughs> um, you know, but so far the girls, both teams have been playing really, really good. So, you know, there's not really much to say. But the fourth pitch was a ball, so the count will be two two. And we hear Hobbs do their chant. And she oh. hits it right Woo! to the third where she catches it. Right into Madison Inglet's glove. So Arnelas is out, but Rodriguez remains safe. That will be the second out for Hobbs. And coming up to, oh, it's still the batter? No. No, that's a, that's, that's number 17. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's Melinda's. So, two outs for Hobbs. This is, you know, this is, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't, ooh. This ooh. is what I meant by stuttering. <laughs> Sorry, um, starting guys. Yeah, I apologize. I can't speak. So, the she did get a strike, though. And, and a another one. Swing and a miss for so, Melendez. Yes, so the call will be 0-2. Two outs for Hobbs. I think I think Giles is doing really, really good at their And defense. another swing and a miss, and she is out, making that three outs for the JV Hobbs team. And we will be back at the end of third inning. This is Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Dow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. Mamacita San Jao has a broad selection of specials. Try the Mexican food, asado, tamales, enchiladas, and so much more. At Mamacitas, you can have it all. Mexican food, donuts, and a steamy cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Mamacitas has authentic Mexican food from the heart of good old Jao, New Mexico. Mamacitas, 301 South Main in Jao, is a proud supporter of the Jao community. We are back to the bottom of the third inning. <laughs> Natalie cut me off midway, but <laughs> runner. 
Ooh. is safe. Wait. She is out. And that was Anna, Anna Ross. Ross. Yes. Why'd you say it was like confusion? Because <laughs> I, I thought it was, um, what's her name? Nieto. You're done. All right. <laughs> Next batter is number 11, our pitcher, Jonna Butts. First pitch will be a ball. Anyways, as I was saying, Natalie cut me off at the end of that. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I was. Heard. Yeah. Yeah, if you got in already. I swear it's nice that I swear. No, no. I, I know you pushed it on purpose. I would never do that. No, I know you did. Second pitch was a ball, making the count 2 0. Oh. Jaha's one out. Score is 1 to 3. And we're at the bottom of the third inning. And that was a strike as she tipped it. <laughs> Natalie's doing these hand motions <laughs> right now. <laughs> if we had a camera on us. Oh, yeah. You had to, like, yeah, you know. You guys had just... Put just, my arms, yeah. like, on my body. Mm-hmm. It's pretty funny, though. <laughs> Anyways. And she Ooh. hits it to center. Let's see. Ooh. And, oh, that was close to getting out of the ballpark. But Jonna is at second, and that's where she will remain. That was a good swing made by Jonna Butts there. I even, I even like, like, shook a little bit. I was like, oh. <laughs> We were all shaking in our boots. <laughs> <laughs> I have not heard that one before. <laughs> Who are you now? Who have you become? I am a country yeah, singer. Yeah, no. Currently having a timeout as the Hobbs coach will be talking to well, his team, of course. <laughs> so No, he's talking to our team. Don't be sarcastic <laughs> now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know guys. That was sarcasm. No, Natalie it wasn't <laughs> sarcasm. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways. No. We're supposed to take a break on that one, but <laughs> I'm too scared Natalie's going to cut me off. So <laughs> <laughs> We're going on. Oh. 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 Mama Sita is. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be a new ad? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Coming up to bat right now is Alexa Talavera. Right? Yes. Yes. And First pitch. Ooh. Is, is a, a ball. ball. She I is. First. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know this was a competition. Oh, I mean, now <laughs> it is. <laughs> she is 20 sec 22. Not 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie's going crazy, by the way. <laughs> so. The very thing go crazy. The call is 1-1 one, one, as there is one ball and one strike. Ja has one out. Uh, Hobbs still in the lead with two points. Lead, with a two-point lead as <laughs> the score is 1-3. to three. Third pitch was a ball, making the count 2-1. Um, <laughs> that was out of pocket. <laughs> um, we heard somebody say that's pretty, and we got a little confused. Ooh, <laughs> a little confused. Okay, yeah, we got a little confused there, so you know we buffered a little bit. <laughs> Might have heard his lag a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, the call right now is two two, two balls, two strikes, and. Here is the ooh. ooh, and she hits right to third, and she is out. And Jonna is at third. Well, she will stay. Good swing, though. Good swing. Making it two outs for Jao. Jonna Butts made it safe to third, as Natalie already said. And now, now this is my team. Now Nieto is actually coming up to the plate. Ooh. And she swings, but she misses. Safe. At third. Is um, Jonna Butts. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you. She completes my sentences, everybody. Second pitch will be another strike. Making the count 0 2. Ja has two outs already. Miting cannot afford another strike. And here goes the pitch. 
Ooh, Ooh, and that was a strike, making that the third out for the Jow Panthers. And let me finish what oh, I'm yes. saying, okay? <laughs> like, oh. okay. <laughs> and now we are entering the beginning of the fourth inning, and we'll be back with more Jow softball. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the Jow Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. And we are back now on the top of the fourth inning, I believe. And Valeria is currently missing. So we're just going to do this a little bit without her. Right now, the Panthers are warming up. Hopefully to block the Hobbs JV from scoring any more points. In the last, last inning, um, the Hobbs JV... I think Believe scored two, and the Panthers only scored one, and Inglet did that one. Right now we are preparing for Kaylee Peterson to be first batter. And she hits it to second base and goes into right field where she remains safe on first base. Now it's on the top of the list and it's going to be Zam Zamberano I always kind of butcher her name just a little bit and Val finally joined us again and that went all the way up and the pitcher Jonna Butts catches it and gets Zamberano out but Peterson remained on first base. Next batter is going to be Rangel, and she is player 15. I apologize for leaving you alone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that was kind of Don't, don't, no. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. I told you I had to go. But we, I mean, I'm back. Finally. I no. Can't say we're both We're back. already on the bottom half of the inning. I know. Just kidding. And first, oh. ooh, and first base catches the ball, and then 23 rams into her, causing her to fall. Hope she's okay, though. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up to that is number 15. Okay, we're just going to say this right now. Natalie's lag Ring lagging. I already said her name. You're <laughs> lagging. Natalie's lagging. You didn't even hear me say Rango. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay. She's always trying to pin everything on me. Sorry. <clears throat> and First pitch was a ball. Ooh. 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 We heard some. Ooh. We we're hearing some, you know comments from Emmy Lujan the Panthers coach um no idea what he's saying because you know something about you throw a ball that's all I heard <laughs> yeah me too but hey who are we to say anything we are the commentators we are the you know you're right, you're right. This. yeah anyways the score is one to three we are at the beginning of the fourth inning Ooh. Ooh, you flee. I didn't. Ooh, know. and it hit 14, <laughs> which is Valenzuela. Hope she's okay, though. <laughs> got and hit I, before I, she even got up there. I didn't flinch, by the way, so. She did, so she owes me a Gatorade. Oh, my gosh. No, I don't. So if Dusty's watching this, 
you know, Dusty. You can back me up. <sighs> Fine then, I will. I'll go to the concession stand here in a bit. We all know you want to. What is that <laughs> supposed to be? <laughs> Ooh, oh, and the I think that was second missed it, and let's see if she's out on third base. Um, and she remains safe. And that was Kaylee Peterson. Right now up to bat is 15, which is Ringel. You see how much she's lagging, guys? <laughs> you know what? I want you to do the names. No, I can't pronounce names right. So. <laughs> she's over here hating on me. No, I'm just giving you some advice. <laughs> you know what? Oh, in another car. Oh, it just misses a truck. <laughs> Oh, it did. Yeah. Anyways, hopefully somebody go get, goes and gets that ball, you know? I'm I might. I oh. might go. I might go. You might go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Just look both ways. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, I don't know if they... Oh, and she hits the ball. Third base goes and picks it up. But Peterson was too fast, and so was Ringel. She made it to first safe. And now it's visitors have four. Hobbs. Hobbs visitors. <laughs> Hobbs oh, visitors. I guess I guess they're I guess they're our team. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> the score now is one to four. Jow is behind by three points. Ooh, and that hits her catcher, leaving her more injured than she already was. Hopefully she's okay. Um, it's currently, I mean, Lujan, their coach, is seeing if she is all right and will. She seems to be staying in the game. You know what? And I feel like that just shows how much, you know, fight she has in her. You know, I would never do that. I feel like <laughs> if I got hit with the bomb, I'm throwing a fit. Like, I'm I'm crying on the floor. You started, like, freaking punching the ground? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess I will. Oh. And <gasps> Rangel was safe because they dropped the ball. And they just weren't fast enough. Um. Sorry, I'm, like... I'm, like, doing a lot. Natalie's only in charge of, like, the names. I'm in charge of the scoreboard, it's the camera. It's because she doesn't understand it. Ooh, and it hits the gates, and Rangel makes it home, while Valenzuela makes it to second base, where she is safe. The score now is one to five. I could do both. I'm about to make you do both. No. Actually, you're not even <laughs> doing camera. You're yes, I am. I'm moving <laughs> it. Don't lie. I have not seen you. Right, so you did not just move it. <laughs> I'm about to throw you away. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, new batters coming up. Couldn't tell you the number because I can't see. And that's, I think, going to be seven? Rodriguez. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. and she had to duck down to not get hit. And if I believe Valenzuela is still on second. Um, one ball, no strikes, two outs for Hobbs, as we are still at the beginning of the fourth inning. I feel like, I feel like this part's like really, ooh. Ooh, and she gets a strike. Ooh, did you see that move the coach did? He's a pro. He like, he's he like pro. caught it with his like foot. He's done soccer before. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> I think we could tell. Um, so the call is... One, one, one ball, one strike. And another ball. But Valenzuela still stays safe on second. You know, my hands are really cold. My arms are cold. I think we need one of those, like, heated blanket things. Ooh, I did have Ooh. one. Ooh! And Ross Caught. catches... Rodriguez's pop-up ball. You say it. 
this will lead us to the bottom of the fourth inning and we will be back for more JAL softball. Eunice Pump and Supply has been around for over 30 years and is excited to continue their services to the community. They take pride in their employees and their hard work and dedication, and most importantly, take pride in the youth of Lee County. Eunice Pump and Supply is a proud supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Eunice Pump and Supply, 1310 Avenue, Owen Eunice, another proud supporter of Lee County athletics. The staff of the Jowl Public School District is proud of their Jowl Panthers. Those late practices, hard work, and dedication paid off. Go Panthers! Jowl schools have continually provided a quality education and safe environment for the students. Jowl Public School System is on the move. Are you ready? Jowl Public Schools, another proud sponsor of all Lee County athletics and academics. And we are back to the bottom of the fourth inning where Maddie Inglet will be starting us off on the first hit. Ooh, and she hits the ball to second, I mean to center field, and they miss it. And Inglet will stay on first base where she remains safe. So, did you introduce yourself? Oh, or are no. you gonna let people guess who you are? I'm gonna let them guess. You know, <laughs> guess you know I'm Debbie Ryan, <laughs> or I'm Radio Rebel. Oh my goodness, no. Batting right now is Ale Mendoza, right? Mm -hmm. Call is one zero, one ball, no strikes. I think the Panthers could really make a comeback and you know score in this inning. Sorry, I'm like out of breath. That <laughs> she, she ran. That, yeah, I did. She it's ran two bleachers. <laughs> <laughs> now that sounds horrible. <laughs> and she in Mendoza has two balls and one strike. Score right now is one to five as Hobbs is taking the lead in this, at the end of this fourth inning. I was about to say quarter. Guys, I swear I get all my sports mixed up. <laughs> that pitch was a ball, making the count three to one. And we hear the same chant that Ooh. Hobbs was. Oh, we heard a scream from the dugout. <laughs> a lot Duff. of frustrated players, I guess. <laughs> the count right now is three to two. Oh, and if I didn't already introduce myself, my name is Valeria Costa. I am in charge of this camera. As, you know, Natalie says I'm not moving it, so I'll move it more. Oh, now, now she remembers. <laughs> Don't even. Coming up to bat right now is Amila Melanson, number... Let me get my other. Mm-hmm, you better. She plays number 10. So... The count right now is uh, zero to one. She does have a strike as that was the first pitch. Second pitch will be another strike. Count will be 0-2. Oh um, yeah, no no outs for Jal at the moment. Um, ooh, and ooh. she hits it right next to the pitcher. Will she make it? She does. St. Inglet goes all the way home. Right behind her is Ayla Mendoza. And right behind her is Amila Malonson. And she's going to take it all the way home. And that gives us three runners. The score now is four to five. So, you know, we're getting up there. Did I not just say that? That was impressive. You know? Yeah. I, I like I didn't just say like you know she had hope yeah I had hope for them you know and they did it uh timeout for Hobbs as they are huddled up in like a little group right there <laughs> probably talking some strategy um yeah so far that was a really really good play right there that 
That for was. Mm -hmm. I think you know they all started dropping the ball. You know, it started reminding me of, like a bench warmers. <laughs> don't hit me with movies that I don't know. You've never watched that. Movie. I've never watched. Lord. I already have homework when I get home. You got a lot of homework. Yeah. Coming up to bat right now is Charisma Rodriguez, number nine. Um, first pitch was a... Uh, nobody knows. Nobody knows because I haven't put it on the scoreboard. <laughs> oh, it was a ball. And Ooh. there it is. Will anyone catch that? And caught. they caught it, and number nine is out. Charisma Rodriguez will be the first out for... Jal Panthers. And coming up to bat right now is Isabella Cohorse. Cohorse. Yes. I cannot say that last week. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we all mess up. But. Oh, and she hits it to shortstop, but third interferes, and she is out, making that two outs of this fourth inning. The end of this fourth inning. Get it right. No, I'm just you know what? Whatever. That's that's yours. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mine. Yeah. So far, <laughs> Ja has two outs. Score is four to five. Ja just one point behind as Anna Ross comes to give it all. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Preach. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, right. It almost hit the pitcher. Win the center and ooh, Anna Ross is gonna. Go back. Oh, she's going to go to second and then oh. go back to oh. first. And she is safe. She will be safe at first. You know, that honestly scared me. <laughs> uh, that was a good swing, though. Did I not just tell you that she was going to give it all? She gave it all. She gave it all. Yeah, and she I'm heard you. For, she heard you. Yeah. I don't think I'm speaking that loud, right? No, you are. You're screaming. Okay, no. <laughs> now you're lying. Coming up to bat right now is number 11, Jonna Butts, our lefty and pitcher. Why'd you laugh? And she oh hits it to right or to left field. Anna Ross goes to third where she oh. is safe. And Jonna Butts makes it to oh. second safely. Now, Joe has some runners at third and second. Coming up to bat now will be Alexa Talavera. And... Honestly, it's looking pretty good right now. Let's see if she can make her way to first. And bring the two runners home. Because she has not been having any luck this game. Yeah, uh, the first game she did get hurt. And then she has not been able to get to first. Oh, no, yes, she has. Yes, she has. Yeah. Don't hate on her. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just keep forgetting she has a base runner. First pitch was a ball. Ooh, and Anna Ross is going to take it home where Jonna Butts is out. That will be three outs for the Panthers, which will leave us with the score of five to five um, as we enter the fifth inning. And we'll be back with more JAL softball. You've just changed the light bulb in the pantry to an Energy Star energy efficient LED bulb, one that uses up to 90% less energy than a regular old incandescent bulb and saves you more than $55 over its lifetime. You just saved energy and money and did the environment a solid. What's next? Organizing the pantry? It's suddenly so well lit. Find our LED discounts at ExcelEnergy.com slash lighting deals. Excel Energy. Kayla and Emmy Lujan from Panther Energy are excited for their Dow Panthers and proud of all the Dow students' great success this year. Panther Energy is your one-stop shop for backhoes, dump trucks, roustabouts, and welding. Panther Energy, 1179 South 3rd in Jow, or call 575-395-2654, 575-395-2654 for more information. Panther Energy, a proud supporter of all Lee County Athletics. And we are back. Ooh, I gave you like a little, a little. Sounds like she's in a musical. Um, yeah. You know, I think we might be. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> welcome back to Jow. Yeah, basically. Welcome back to Jow, <laughs> Mexico, where oh, everyone where returns. 
Okay. <laughs> um, right now, the game is against Hobbs JV versus your one and only Jow Panthers. The score right now is 5-5. Five to five. We are tie. And in the fifth inning. 5-5-5. Oh, five, five, wow. five. <laughs> that is crazy. And zero, zero, zero. <laughs> we haven't even had a batter. Exactly, it's zero zero zero. You're done. You're done. Get her off the get her off the stream. <laughs> I'll do this by myself. Nah. Cause who who has been here the most? No, just kidding. I'm gonna throw you away for <laughs> reals. Whatever. Who's Coming right? up to bat right now <laughs> is number thirteen. Oh, no, Who's Saturday. number thirteen? That is gonna be Rolston, where she makes it to first safely. And next is going to be <coughs> Ornelas. Yeah, or Ornelas, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. Because there's different ways to pronounce the A. You know, one, one thing that I've been seeing lately with this game and the other game is that our, what's it called, our first base... Amila Melanson seems to always lift her foot before she gets the runner. Have you been noticing that too? I have not noticed that, but I will keep an eye out for that one. Well, <laughs> now I feel dumb because you haven't noticed it. Well, who says nobody else noticed that? You know what? You're right. If y'all have noticed it, leave a comment down below. Leave a comment down below. <laughs> Chat, is this real? <laughs> <laughs> no way you just said that. No, we're actually throwing you away this time. <laughs> Did you, did you tell them who this batter is? I said it was Ornelas. Ooh. And first base catches it. And Ale is too slow to first base to get out. Whoever that was, number eight. But now Hobbs has number. one oh, yeah, out. Number eight. Garcia. Coming up to bat now is number 17. I feel like I just said that she was batting. I think I might have messed that up. Sorry. Sorry. And awaiting the first pitch, which will be And number a eight strike. is going to steal second, makes it, and could have honestly maybe went to third. Yeah, I would have made it. <laughs> I'm just too fast like that. I would have, like, dove onto the third base. Do you have, like, uh, like, have you ever wondered if, like, you know, whenever they dive, like, on their stomachs, that, <laughs> like, Ooh, you know? He's going to, like, rub? Yeah, like, does it hurt? Like, ugh. Yeah. Like, how I mean, do they do it I without, guess like, getting skin hurt? skin doesn't touch. Yeah. It's like diving in volleyball. But at least you have sleeves. On this one, you don't, you know? You just gotta pray. <laughs> hope you don't scream. You know, yourself. you're right. You're right. <laughs> you probably have to, like, hope that your arm is still there by the time, you know, you get up. <laughs> and your face isn't, like, yeah. scratched. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, the count is two to one as they have... Two balls, one strike. <laughs> Hobbs does have one out. And. Ooh, and that was a foul. You better not have blinked. I didn't even flinch. Oh, flinch, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I said blinked. <laughs> you can't blink, Natalie. I'm like, dang. Oh. Ooh, and now they're having a team meeting. I was like. literally about to say the same thing. Team meeting. Anyways, <laughs> well, 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 I don't know. I don't know if well. this is going to take long, so I don't know if we should go on break or not, but we're going on break, so. No, we never go on break for timeouts. You never go on breaks for timeouts. <laughs> I'm about to throw you away. Anyways, what is, what is your opinion on the, this game so far? Um, it's going, it's actually, it feels like it's going slow, but it's actually very close together because they're five and five. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's just kind of like who will get there first. Like a race. It's basically a race. It's crazy. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, my opinion is this game's going by like really, it's going by a little slow. I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm enjoying it, you know? Yeah. A very enjoyable game. Now, awaiting the fifth pitch. This is, I think, Melinda's at the plate. And um, does she get out? 
and she, she got out. Does. And right now, number one is at the plate, and that's going to be Kaylee Peterson. And she is on second base. Coming up to bat right now is number one. I already said Kaylee Peterson. Oh, thank you. I didn't hear you. You know, since I have to do the whole school scoreboard. You know, she's just don't roll so your dramatic, eyes at me. Guys. Don't don't she's do that. So don't dramatic. do that. <sighs> Natalie is my D one hater, so <laughs> you know. I mean, I guess that's why I'm D one. Okay, you're done. <laughs> you're done. No, nope, you're done. <laughs> um, second pitch will be ooh a foul. Did that hit her? Or am I just tripping? I think I'm going crazy, actually. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Hmm? You think I'm going crazy? No, I didn't say nothing. No. <laughs> you do think I'm going crazy. It's no. okay. Just tell me the truth. Oh. She got jiggy with it. <laughs> she did. <laughs> there goes third pitch. And number eight. Ooh, number that was one. third out. Okay. Yeah, number one. We'll be getting out. Taking us to the end of the bottom, is what I meant to say, of the fifth inning. We will be back with more JAL softball. The Woolworth Community Library is a proud supporter of the JAL Panthers. They are excited to have their kids back into schools and in sports, all while staying safe. The Woolworth Library staff encourages you to swing by the library and check out all of the cool stuff just for kids. Great reads for all ages. Call 575-395-3268 for library hours and online resources. The Woolworth Library, a proud supporter of Lee County Athletics. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. Alexa Talavera up wow. at the plate. You just jumped into it. Oh, and was tipped, making that a strike. I'm gonna give y'all a good introduction. <laughs> Welcome back to the game against Jal and Hobbs JV. The score right now is five to five. We are tied in the fifth inning, and Alexa hits the ball and is out because she. Didn't because run <laughs> fast enough to first. Nah, Natalie. Because <laughs> she is injured. Yes, not she her is. Fault. Yeah. Well, I would say she's hurt, not really injured, because she's still walking. I mean, she's still. I don't know the difference. Yeah. It sounds the same. Her <laughs> injured, same thing, same difference, you know? It still hurts. Anyways, <laughs> your commentators for tonight is me, myself, Valeria Costa, and. Natalie Navarrete. Yes, I hope y'all have. Y'all are having a great night tonight as we are freezing out here, giving y'all, <laughs> you know, the greatest, what is this called? Like, commentating? Yes, of yeah. y'all's life. And it does not hit a car this time. You know, um, they did hit a ball, and I don't know who was batting at the time, but it, l like, literally almost hit a car. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember. It's, this is Nieto at the plate, Ooh. and she... Fouls it by third base. And I like how Valeria says it's freezing and we're in 68 degree weather. Okay, <laughs> weather reporter. I, I didn't know that you were doing that right now. I bring it everywhere with me. I know you do. You, you just got it on you, you know. And third pitch was a ball making the count one to two. One ball, two strikes. Um... Uh, hoping the Panthers could, you know, get some. Ooh, ooh, goes into center field where they catch it. And Nieto is out, making this two outs for two the Panthers outs. in the bottom of this fifth inning. Inglet is joining us now to the plates <laughs> where a big bug is right next to me, so. Natalie did screen. get a, yeah, if y'all hear, you know, some commotion, <laughs> it's because 
<laughs> we saw a big bug. Oh, my, what was that? I have, to, I have no, no idea. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, but I hope it eats you. <laughs> I hope it eats you. <laughs> <laughs> you anyway, <laughs> Madison Inglet on to bat and has two strikes. So call is 0-2. Madison cannot afford another strike as they are already two outs. Natalie is staying quiet <laughs> because she is still a little, you know, shooken up because of that little bug. Mm, I feel like it's going to get in my ears even though I have headphones on. You know, you have the headset on? Or my hair. You know what? I hope you, like, find it. You know what? Your I hope it, like, goes into your bag or something. And nope, you open it and it's in your room. And Madison gets another strike, making it three strikes. Don't press the button. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? And this will take us to the sixth inning. This Your score right now is five to five. And we'll be back with more JAL softball. The staff of the JAL Public School District is proud of their JAL Panthers. Those late practices, hard work, and dedication paid off. Go Panthers! JAL schools have continually provided a quality education and safe environment for the students. JAL Public School System is on the move. Are you ready? JAL Public Schools, another proud sponsor of all Lee County athletics and academics. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Con And we're back with Jow Softball as we have Hobbs JV as our visitors. Score is five to five, and we are at the beginning of the sixth inning. Your batter right now is number two. Zamborano. Oh, bring the mic. Yeah. Oh. Zamborano. <laughs> and the count right now is 0-1. She has one strike at the moment. And one ball now, so the count is 1-1. One, one. With your pitcher being, with our pitcher being Jonna Butts, number 11. Oh, wow, I love how you remember that. Ooh, Ooh and would have been caught by third base, but it tipped her glove. And Zamborano is now safe on first base, where number 23 is going to come up to bat. And is Carissa. Or is they got Zigata? Yeah. I think it's Zigata. <laughs> well, if she did mess that up, we apologize. You know, we do and, not. And, you know, kind of a little low swing there where she tipped the ball and hit the catcher. Number two wanted to, you know, steal to second, but was returned back. <laughs> why, <laughs> why are you laughing? Because that sounds weird. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, the count right now is 0-1. And oh. she makes it to second because Anna Ross missed the ball. Or no, it was Ale Mendoza. One of the two. I think I saw Anna Ross. No, it was number six. And that is Ale Mendoza. Okay, okay, I apologize. And 23 swings and misses. Where that will be the second strike. Where Zamborano dances, trying to make herself to third base. Dances? Mm -hmm. Have you not heard that? Where they're like, kind of like this? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you actually meant like dance. Like oh, she yeah, was she's, busting a move over there. She's doing freaking, I don't know what she's doing down that field. She's dancing. The count right now is two to two. Two strikes, two balls. No outs for Hobbs. <sighs> but they do have a runner at second. So. Ooh, and that's and a swing and a miss. Making it the first out for Hobbs. Coming up to bat now is number 15 from Hobbs. And that's going to be Rangel. Okay, okay. 
I think we're getting better at these names, like as you know, the game goes on. First pitch will be a strike. And now we are awaiting the second pitch. My nose is like really runny, so I apologize. Y'all hear me like sniff? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And who was that? Num oh, number two. Zamborano is safe on third when she slides to third. She did steal, so. The count right now is 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike, and one out. Oh. Ooh, and it looks like Zambrero is going to steal home and now gave the Hobbs team another point. So your score right now is 5-6 to six as, you know, number two just scored. Um, the count right now is 2-1. One, uh, one out for Hobbs. And now this is going to be 14 Valenzuela. Oh. The count now is 3-1, as y'all maybe can hear <laughs> the Hobbs chanting it. Now it's a full count. Ooh, okay. So it is now 3-2. And we are awaiting the pitch. And, ooh, she tips it, which makes that one a foul ball. Which keeps her in still. So, you know, I, I don't ever think that chance work. I feel like, if anything, it distracts, like, the player, yeah. you know, like, batting. So the three one chant. Bad tiny. And she fouls again. Maybe it's something to tie her out the pitcher for Chow. Mm-hmm. You know, it's getting a little bit more chilly. Ooh. Damn, I wonder where they ordered from. It looks like sorry. Panther? Yeah. Um we turned a little bit. We saw Hobbs. And she walks to first, and that was Valenzuela. Oh, wait, no, 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 that was Rangel. Valenzuela is up at the plate now. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we saw Hobbs order food, so we got, we, we smelt it. You know, I, know, I know we did, yeah. <laughs> Knowing us, like, we, we know. We literally so. turned our heads like an owl. Mm-hmm, like, it's crazy. <laughs> It's crazy what we would do for food right now. Yeah. Oh, anyways. Um. Oh no, I think it wasn't. It was Mama Sands. Okay. Ooh. And that went to. Oh, that went out. And is this gonna be a foul? Yes, it will be a foul. The count now is. Oh two. No ball, and two strikes. Hubs has one out with the score being five to six. Hobbs is in the lead by one point. Um, now, awaiting for the third pitch. It will Ooh, be good. Ooh, it goes to left. Oh, and gets intercepted a little bit by Anna <laughs> Ross. <laughs> Jesus, they intercepted. Yeah, it, get, it got intercepted by her. Can you say intercepted in softball? Yeah, like where like it's going to someone else, but you catch it instead. Uh, intercepted. Well, somebody tell us if that's legal <laughs> or not. Comment down below. I don't know. <laughs> comment down below. I really wish we had a comment section. I know. <laughs> Literally right after you said, chat, is this real? Don't. Chat, no. is this real? No. 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 See me go in front of the camera. Oh, and that goes to left field where number 15, Rangel, is going to make it home. Number seven is on second base, and number 14, I believe. Mm-hmm. No, number 15. Number, f no, third base? Oh, yeah. I don't know who that is. I think that might be a sub. Yeah. Is on know. third. I think that is eight. I think that's Garcia. And what is going on? Is this game? 
No, I don't think so. They barely have one out. Well, I guess we are having a... Uh, this is game. Oh, that was game. Well, that was it for your second game. Score being 5-7. to seven. Hobbs JV takes the win on this one. And we're going to do a little feedback. So, Natalie, how would you rate that? Honestly, they I don't know if the Hobbs team got more tired so we got closer to them mm -hmm. or if we got more pumped up. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but I feel like we played, you know what I mean? We could have done maybe a little better, mm -hmm. but, you know, Hobbs could have too. Yeah. What do you think? I think it was a really interesting game, not, e not just this one, but the one before this one. I think they were both, you know, both teams were really strong on some certain things, made some mistakes, but, you know. Mistakes are fixable, just weren't done the right way, as you know, we can see. Game. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll see you when. When will we see them? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I don't know who's playing, the boys or the girls. I think we're coming to the girls. Okay. The girls will be playing. And, yeah, I will leave it at that. And y'all have a wonderful night. And go Panthers.